on main or overflow? Okay.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to be time. It is about to be time. Everybody ready? Everybody excited for today? Everybody excited to see a new hunter starting off for the first time ever? Gentlemen, we're going to swap ourselves over to Monster Hunter. Nathan and I are going to entertain you for a little bit. We'll wait for Austin to get in here. Sure, everything's working just fine. All right, there we go. So we should have Monster Hunter up and running. Cool. All right. Everybody hear me. Hunting horn, yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody can hear me? All right. Can everybody hear Nate? Nate, talk for a little bit. <laughs> Don't hear anything from Nate. Okay. Uh, all right, one sec. Desktop audio is mega low. That's probably why. Oh, I have it muted. That explains it. Free me. Free me. I need to be heard. All right, double check again. Game audio, Nathan audio. I need to disappoint strangers on the internet with my dumb jokes. We hear him now. He's free. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, boys. So, uh, Austin's going to be a minute. He's got to uh, just do something at his house. A little, little family thing came up. Should be here in like 5 to 10. Uh, so, Austin and I are starting off fresh. Austin, mega, super duper fresh because he's barely played this game. Uh, what he has done... Uh, this is PS5, Kern. So, uh, Austin has run through Character Creator... And he has run through the first Jagras mission. Um, so when he gets in, we should be loading up into the Kestodon mission. And he will be able to go into Great Jagras. Nate and I can jump off of that. Uh, we'll have to do like a little bit of just like squad setup and whatnot. That's going to take a minute. Um, but he's right there. He's like right, right at the start. Uh, for myself personally, I started a brand new profile. Uh, and we are going to be maining Hunting Horn. Has Austin decided on a weapon? Um, he's back and forth. He tested out a couple of things on the log. Uh, Austin being the wee bow that he is, he likes longsword. Uh, he has also tried out the bow and has liked the bow. Uh, I think he's also somewhat interested in dual blades. Pretty sure... Cool uh, pretty sure Kulu is a solo expedition. Um, so I checked that hawk every, uh, because, uh, the Rage Gaming guys, they did, like, a Return to World playthrough a little bit ago, uh, and they had both guys in the Kulu quest. So I think we're gonna be good to go. But I hope he sticks with, hope he picks dual blades. 
Um, I feel like Austin's probably the type of guy who's going to change his mind up several times. That's just who he is. Goddamn right. <laughs> oh, look who it is. God damn right. I changed my mind four times just playing the 20 minute intro. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, Connor, I have no idea how to join that thing you sent me, but I did see it. <laughs> uh, you, I would... sent, you sent me a big purple thing, man? I don't know what that is. Our business card? Yeah, it's, that's our business card. Our business card? Okay, alright. Uh, uh, I just. Nate and Connor Associates. <laughs> how doth i join uh i gotta invite the two you... of you so am i are we joining you or are you joining me or does it not work that way i'll be inviting the both of you uh, yeah he's got a room set up already yeah oh, okay. I figured. all right so we're gonna give it one sec uh, i'm gonna just put over to the stream transition real quick so you guys don't see See, so don't talk to us. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much to catch up on. I gotta read all this. Someone said get Recknate, and uh, thank you for that. I don't know why, but yeah, that's Matt. Nate. Yeah, Matt, Matt boy, Matt. I don't know who the hell you are, but Matt boy, Matt. <laughs> DDoS him. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's a good friend of ours. He does the thumbnails for Connor. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I am in chat, whoever just said that. Right, online session, create a squad session. Alright, so this will create a squad session. Send Bob, Bob Badger, Badger to get his IP address. address. <laughs> I'm glad we all read that at the same time. <laughs> All right, that's all going just fine. I started with I started with the big katana thing, cause that's just, yeah. I mean that's just me. Um, but like, see, it's weird. I, I'm un I'm I have an unga bunga mindset. I like like just mashing and like running in, but I also don't like when the weapons can't keep up with my unga bunga you know way of life. So like. I was pressing buttons so fast trying to use the big swords. Um, the fuck is this saying? All right, whatever. I was trying to, like, I was mashing buttons so fast with the big swords that, like, things were, like, literally happening, like, after I was done pressing buttons because I was just slamming them. So I was like, damn, I like the katana visually. I liked the dual swords. I saw someone said that. I did like the dual swords. Um... But I really like the bow, like, a lot. Because it can keep up with me just slamming and doing shit. So I, re I settled on the bow. I really like the bow. The circle button exists to be spammed. Dog, I'm telling you, I was, like, just banging on shit. It sucks because I made the character with... Oh, and, and, and of course... You know what's funny, Connor? I told you I was going to name him after my D&D &D character, Lucius. And yep. obviously, what do you think I named my cat? Um, mm -hmm. And I, I made Lucius. him an orange cat. And then I was like, probably should have made him a white cat. But, you know, I digress. But, so yeah. I wanted to use dual swords because that's what the character that I made him is based off is using two swords. But I ended up going with the bow just because it's, it's so fun. All right, let me... It's so good to see you. I don't know if I'm with you. I, it said I was. I don't know where you are. All right. I don't uh, know if I can so you, find you, you here. You see a big chain thing over by the waterfall? Big chain thing. Walk up to that, and it should give you an option to jump to the gathering hub. I see the waterfall. Big chain. Yeah, it's like a big chain and moving platform this contraption. This cat is blocking my way. Oh, gathering up there. Alright, you both should also have invites to the squad so that we can uh, play in sessions easier. Yeah, I just accepted. It's a big-ass chandelier. That's really expensive for this place. Oh, yeah. 
That's that must be yeah, this... thousands upon millions of dollars. <laughs> this is uh, the game state is currently in like the middle of the was it the winter festival right now? Yep, this will be the uh, winter festival. Kind of yeah, I'm coming up. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So Brian just asked. Oh, hey Sam, how's it going? Uh, so Brian asked, "Where's Austin at right now?" Literally, he's only done uh, killing the first Jagras. So he's on the Kestodon quest. I, I did enough to actually play the game with you guys. Yeah. 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 Smurf account. Yep. HGO just saw yeah, the name. Smurf account's pretty great. <laughs> All right, uh, Austin. You'll pr if you like open up your menu, you'll probably see a prompt for like a squad invite or whatever. It should be on the left side of your screen now. You just push it in on the right stick. Do arm wrestling. All right. All right. I haven't done this with a PS5 controller. Fair warning to those in the chat. I don't read. I don't do I, I I play. I don't do no reading. And so if I'm not using something that's Get so miserably nerd. optimal, <laughs> I don't care. I don't read a damn thing. I promise you I have read no tutorials. I I should have done it and said I did it. Yeah, yeah, you're in. You have um you have the icon next to your name. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I picked the icon for having no waist piece equipped because uh, we in the um, Muscular Hispondo's waist division uh, are anti-pants. Okay, so are you saying you know I gotta go take my pants off? No, we're just anti-pants. We're, oh, okay. we're extremely so hypocritical. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. You guys are. <laughs> yeah. Nate lives by the code. All right. <laughs> Yeah, wait till this dude gets into decorations and jewelry. Yeah, okay. Nathan and I are probably going to do some coaching with Austin off stream <laughs> so that he doesn't get obliterated. <laughs> I, I promise you. Yeah, anti pants movement. Like Everyone before. watching, take your pants off. Um. Yeah, can I get a pants emoji in the chat? Right? Pants and an X emoji in the chat, please. <laughs> You can just lurk yeah, out for I'm telling you, I've played a lot of games like this. I've never crafted a thing in my life in, in any game, all right? So. We'll get you through it. Because you're definitely. You you definitely need to. Like, that's not it. Wow, that's, I know. That's, that was uh, that was uh, problem number one that I that I identified when. Uh, we when can make it as game. easy as possible for you. Yeah, no, we, we'll, we'll get you through it. I have new pants for hours now. Nice. Ahead of the curve. Proactive. We like I it. I also Pro have no pants on. Pants, uh, boy. Yeah. Alright. Uh, do you want to just get running with the Kestodon? Yeah, let's get going, fellas. So you're going to come up here and talk to this uh, crazy woman on the right. And she should give you a quest. Oh yeah, I was telling Connor earlier that I made, um, I well, I put the the because I'm a weeb, I put the voice language in Japanese, but like if there's no subtitles on the screen because I'm like running around, so the subtitles are to the right. I'm like, what the fuck are these people saying? <laughs> do I do join a quest or create a quest? Create a quest. I wonder if we'll be able to. to do quest rather. Yeah, I wonder if we'll be able to join this one off the rip because I don't know if this. Oh no, he has. He's gonna have like the, the fucking characters walking around and talking with him. You cannot. Oh, I'm wrong one. But I know we can hop in when the Jagras comes into comes into play. Yeah, because the only, the only quest in assigned is the one I already did. The only quest in optional is one I already did. Uh, how are you dealing with the necrophobia allegations? Why do you not like dead people? Um, why do I not like dead people? Uh, worms eat dead people, and if you're getting eaten by a worm, I think that's kind of cringe. Okay. 
I can respect that. So, uh, sorry, what the fuck am I picking here? Uh, okay, so you're probably wanna do... So there's post a new quest, join a quest online session. You wanna post a quest. Okay. Post a quest. Assigned optional events. That's you should through. probably... Uh, you probably have an assigned quest. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go... It says to go speak to the, the smithy and, and actually uh, accept the quest. <laughs> oh, there we go. See? Reading's helpful. Enter the chamber of the five. What the fuck is that? Yeah, see, I don't read. I'm telling you, I don't read a damn thing. So, am I still with you guys, even if I... Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, you and Aragon should use level one weapons the whole way through, so I'll just do all the damage, basically what I... Um, I think we're just going to play like appropriately. We're going to play this like as normal as possible because Nate never sold any of his low rank stuff and I'm starting from uh, the jump. Yeah, um, I'm currently using all low rank gear. Actually, I think I have one or two pieces of like super early high rank gear just to get the skill that I wanted. Yeah, but I have a Buster Sword 2 on my back. We're good. Yeah, and all I got... I just made a full set of bone armor, and I've updated the metal bagpipe to a metal bagpipe too. That's that's all I got. How the fuck do I leave to actually go start this quest? Because I gotta go actually accept said assignment. Uh, if I leave, it sends me back to my room. If I if I leave my room, it just comes comes back up here. Uh, don't you hit the touchpad to post the quest? Oh, is he asking to leave uh, the quest? Yeah, I actually have to go talk to the, the... It says, speak to Smithy to accept the assignment. Yeah, so go talk to the Smithy. Yeah, but if I I left, when, so how do I... How the fuck do I get out of this room? You just go to the chains? Come over to these chains right yeah. here. Oh, those chains. Okay, the lift right here. This is... This I was going to the door like a normal town. fucking person. <laughs> there he goes. Because yeah, I was like, going back to my room, and then I left my room, and it was just back up here, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> He's down there, guys. We can't see him. That's another thing, is that there's no, like... You can't see the other people off of the Gathering Hub. Right? Oh, that's why Rise is so good. Because Rise, you can just see everybody everywhere. So nice. It really is. I'm shocked that that was never a thing until Monster Hunter Rise came out. Uh, people asking about whose room that is. The answer, I believe, is no one's because neither of them are a high enough level to have a room up here. I think it gives you this one from the jump. It does not. <laughs> you get this one from beating the story. You start down in the, like, hostile room with all the other hunters. Oh, right. It doesn't give you that one until, like, I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then you get the mid-tier one with the giant uh, fish tank. You guys, uh, we are not going to use the Defender stuff, because Defender is not fun. Defender doesn't teach you anything. The only the only thing Defender would be useful for is if, like, I didn't want to play low and high rank. Defender is cringe. Yeah, no, I agree. The, like, the only, the only thing is, like, um... Yeah, no, if the, if there was, if I had already beaten the game and I just wanted to get into Master Rank, like, I would never go straight forward with the Defender stuff. If you kid, on uh, catching up on it, yeah, no. It works. Yeah, catching up. Well for carry. I'm coming. That's hot. All right, and then I'm also coming upstairs. Nice. <laughs> right, should be good now. Unless I have to actually go talk to my actual handler downstairs, and in that case, I'm leaving again. Uh, oh my god! You sh? Oh, did, is it going to make you post this one from uh, her? It literally is making me go back down there. Okay. <laughs> after that, after this, that probably shouldn't be a problem. The true multiplayer experience. Yeah, dude. It's oh god, they made it weird. Yeah, the real, the real multiplayer experience of Monster Hunter World. Your chain of command. Uh, are you, <laughs> are you liking the chain so far, Austin? You, uh, 
you've changed her clothes, random handler lady. Yeah, she has the winter outfit. Yeah. Oh, that must have, like, but just can... started tonight. I have no idea. Oh, she's she's actively telling me that I can sign up for quests so I don't have to go all the way to her. She's like, oh, I can talk to that lady up there. Bitch, I was just there. <laughs> Yeah, base world's yeah no. Uh, base world has multiplayer, single player integration issues, like un undeniably. Th this there was some very poor optimization. Low and high rank is pretty easy without it, anyways. Yeah, no, uh, it's not. It's not the hardest. Like I've been playing back through um, Free to Me Night again, and that's not like the most difficult game in the world either. But it's it's more difficult than the low rank of this game is. I'm curious now. So now I'm going to waste my time and come back up again. And so help me God, that quest is not in that book. The series is ending early. <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. All right, fine. Whoa, what'd she just say? Hot and creamy? What the hell was that? See, see this talking is about the problem. <laughs> She's not speaking English. So if I miss what it says <laughs> in the subtitles, I, I, I'm, I'm missing out. Ah, fuck. And finally, multiplayer. Sure. Do I have to set a passcode or anything? Do we really think anybody's gonna join us? No, we're fine. Can no, anybody fine. join us? No, not unless we no, set that's up like a, a passcode for the people in the in the room. Because yeah. oh, the lobbies are up dumb. to sixteen people. I love how it's like exit the tutorial, and I'm like, sure. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even read a word. All right, quest accepted. Yeah, right. we gotta wait till he watches a cutscene. Yeah. Oh, I so, so do I do I leave? Yep. Like, just, not leave, but you know, go out on the quest. Yep. Just head out, and as soon as we're available, uh, we will join you. You should come eat at this table first, so you get buffs. I should come eat at this table first. Feed the Any cats. Seat. Uh, pay, pay with, with money, money or resource points, and just I pick whichever the glowing the one is. Glowing one. The winter star platter is the only one that has gold letters. Yep, that works. Cook for me, cats. That's not a cat! <laughs> it meows like a cat. Oh, it's like a fawn. It's like a fondue bowl. Oh, Jesus Christ, my guy's eating like a psychopath. There's gonna be bets uh, to who faints him first. Um, who's gonna faint Austin first? That's a good question. I don't even know what the fuck that means. My money's on Nate. Me I'm dying here, first? Boys. If you die yeah, first, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> I have to genuinely try to be the first one to die here. I gotta be honest, guys. <laughs> Man. I think I'm the only one of us wearing upgraded armor. <laughs> yeah, you are. Does no one have names in this, this game? It's my, Why do you hand, care? You're not going to read their names were... anyway. Not maybe in this I'm, one, they don't. Maybe I'm curious, uh, Nate, about their lives. And I don't want to call him field team leader. I think they officially do have names. They don't... Th this is another very weird thing about Monster Hunter. They didn't start calling the characters by their actual names until the most recent game. See, it's funny because... What are these? What are these dinosaurs doing, man? They're just—they're literally sleeping. And he's like, "Kill them, <laughs> kill them right now, break their fucking necks." Wait, hey, fella, back up, son. Well, we're looking to put in a McDonald's in that area. Is honestly. <laughs> All right, never mind. These dude, can these you have imagine this place predators. leveled with a Walmart? <laughs> back up, son. Hands in the air. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! He's resisting. He's resisting. This, this motherfucker is, though. He's... <laughs> All right, how many times do I got to shoot this guy? It's a, do go. it's a dollar general they're putting in a dollar general. <laughs> oh, no, not the children. Oh, that's true. We didn't even know his name was Aiden until the Fatalis fight. Yep. That was the first that time. That guy's name's Aiden. Well, Aiden ain't doing. Aiden is just sitting there with his hands on his hips, watching me kill children. No. Ass whipping in the background too. Look for another group. There's a group sitting right. We're running by them oh. actively as we speak. 
dead. Honor still here? No, I, sh I should be fine. Uh, my OBS just pooped a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> Matt said his DDoS worked. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get swatted. Yeah, no, you're fine. Uh, my uh, my OBS just had a hiccup. You're fine. These poor dinosaurs just grazing the beach, and I come sliding in. Dude, the sliding is awesome in this game. Connor, I want you to know I purposefully put Affinity Sliding on this set that I'm wearing. I need to look at, like, what you're actually using. Me? Yeah. I just made a set with uh, Focus and Quick Sheath. <laughs> this you gotta watch, and then we can join you. I'm just killing these dinosaurs. The cutscene happens after you kill the dinosaurs. Yeah, okay. The bow makes it a slow, painful process that I just have to shoot these dinosaurs 25 times. Alright, uh, we should be good to go. Oh, wait, no. I, ju I started my own thing. Fuck. <laughs> Aha, a cutscene. Maybe? No, not a cut. Maybe it's a cutscene? <laughs> Gotta love. Yeah, no. Nah, stupid. Uh, I key my gear, but I use much weaker weapon. But I need Good to finish. Oh, God, he swallowed him whole. Did we teach him bow or let him figure it out? Take a wild guess. He's figuring it out. <laughs> Don't teach me a damn thing. <laughs> circle R2, circle R2, both of them at the same time. Done. See, he's getting it. Yep. I hope you practice that... your quarter circles. <laughs> yeah, whatever the fuck that means. Your fighting game inputs. Well, that's what Helldivers 2, that's what I've been doing in Helldivers 2. <laughs> I gotta do friggin', I gotta do King of Fighters movements. It's insane. Got a power geyser on the bugs. <laughs> Buster Wolf, the bugs. Is it is it joining time yet or? We're in. Is... Yeah, I'm in here. Oh, you're in. Okay. I don't know where the hell you guys are. Uh, I'm coming to you. I'm spawning in. I thought you said above me, and I like looked up. I was like, that's <laughs> that's not Nathan. The Hell Divers dr drop pod comes falling down. <laughs> Can you imagine? This game would be so easy. <laughs> oh no, there's a lizard problem. All right, orbital laser the forest. <laughs> we support deforestation in this household. <laughs> We're anti pants and we're anti forests. Come here, lizard boy. I'm you. telling you, man. Here, here, here. Look at look look that way. You see that tree over there? That could be a strip mall. That could be a strip club. That could be a strip club. Ah, fucking there you are. You guys and useless McDoofus face hasn't moved, hasn't moved his whole quest. <laughs> He's just an uh, an officer telling me to kill families. Hey, we're, hey man, we're just following orders. <laughs> all right, good soldiers follow orders. All right, <laughs> they tell me to kill the babies, I kill the babies. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. You parked in our forest. <laughs> He's, Matt said he's got a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> the lizard's got a weapon. <laughs> yeah, no, should, we, should we try to talk this lizard down first before we just let loose? <laughs> no. Uh, someone just said the mics are broken. Uh, I can hear pretty fine. Hang on, let me listen on my end. You guys talk a little bit? It's going to be on a little I... bit of a delay, but... 
<laughs> Stop, resisting! Call, Stop resisting! Stop resisting! <laughs> Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Alright, sounds good on my end. Uh, audio's fine. Cool. Sir, pull over. <laughs> He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got... <laughs> pull over! <laughs> pull over! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, get out of the car! <laughs> Hands behind your back! <laughs> we can do this the easy way or the hard way, sir! <laughs> me playing around with the cop and reaching for his gun. Yeah, me being a silly billy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Is there friendly fire? Can I hurt you with my volleys and stuff? Uh, you can't do damage. Uh, you no, can't, like, can do this. whack us. Here. Oh, <laughs> you sent me flying. Yeah. There's, there's not friendly fire in, like, the sense of damage. There's friendly fire in the sense that we can whack each other. Nope, we got a runner. We got a runner. EOV, I showed the officer this nice shiny stone. <laughs> Yeah, stream quality looks fine on my end. Yeah, now that now that might be a oh, hey, fellas. that might be an issue on that dude's end. So it looks and sounds okay for me. I got the claws. All right, I will play the the song that makes you hit things harder. Song of my people. Bardic inspiration. Like, no, like literally, that's what I'm. That's what I'm running. Why is this guy talking to us like he's here fighting with us? Fucking credit hog. You think your granddaddy being in charge means you get things, buddy? Ah, another easy day's work for the 5 0, baby. <laughs> I think some of those warning shots hit a little bit closer than we were intending. <laughs> I give you one warning fight between the eyes. <laughs> oh! Fire a warning shot. Sir, this is a grenade launcher. <laughs> uh, potato, potato, fire at Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> Stop resisting! God, ever since the Jagras has moved into this neighborhood. <laughs> Russian Badger? Yeah, yeah, fucking love Russian Badger. <laughs> yeah, you know, I forgot I get rewards for helping low rank players. <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of Russian Badger, the the W in the uh, in the MHW acronym for a squad would would have been Wermst if I had the room. <laughs> this video is a funny as hell. Fucking Russian Badger is amazing, dude. What? What's what's Matt saying? What, <laughs> what's catching strays? Jagger sauce and no hard R. <laughs> Are badgers even in Russia? If they want to be, man. I don't know. Get that what are they going to do? Face, Stop me from it. importing animals? No. <laughs> so 
Something's got him agitated. Maybe this it's because there's a giant flaming rock right next to him. No, nah, it's because rent just went up. I like this giant rock I have. Take all of it. That's cool, I man. I want it all. Yeah, man. I like my rock. I like... <laughs> the funny part is... To impress the girl. The funny part is this is where they put, like, captured animals. Like, we've captured this rock alive. Hey, man, I've seen Godzilla 2000. That rock could be alive. That rock could be... Yeah, dude, this rock could be a spaceship that turns into a monster with giant hands. <laughs> uh, is this going to be posted as a VOD? Pretty sure YouTube just automatically posts the VODs in the live tab. So uh, I'll, I'll direct people to that with a, with a community post once the stream ends. It's not a boulder, it's Iraq. Dude, we I got I I we we caught him. We caught him. We got him. We got him. We got him, boys. The oil's are George W. Bush wishes. <laughs> George W. Bush is punching the air. Right now. <laughs> God damn it! It was that simple. <laughs> Speak to the provisions manager. Where the fuck is that guy? Uh, <laughs> that guy was like an elf, I think. Somebody was one of the one of the one of the guys at the meeting was an elf. Why can't I be an elf? Probably has a, a text bubble above his head or something. You can find him. I believe in you. No, it's on the map. It's just in nowhere. I have no idea where that is. So while we wait for Austin to slug through talking <laughs> to strangers, how's everyone doing tonight, chat? Yeah, why can't I be? This guy's an elf, why can't I be? Oh, the director. Wait, where does yours go? He had ears in the meeting. Uh, uh, we can get you elf ears, eventually. I think there's the layered armor for that. Yeah, we're chasing Zora Magdros for oil, boys. Scrunkly! Your comment the other day about my voice made me inordinately happy, so I appreciate you very much. <laughs> Connor texted me, and I was like, I'm going to go find it. Hold on. <laughs> uh, yes, the elves do lay eggs. That has been confirmed. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think they are actually... Like, someone, someone correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. Why they confirm they... that in Rise, you cannot convince that, well, the other that, Okay, that was... <laughs> Might have been a joke, but I think it's actual canon that Wyverians are evolved Hard from Wyverns. Confirmation. <laughs> I'm not reading a word. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, every time it says N2, I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> this one's red. Let's do this one. Yeah, fuck, let's do all of them. I don't know what any of this means. It's a lot of field research. Field research is for the losers, alright? I be on the beat. Okay, is that sure done? <laughs> uh, favorite and least favorite monster, like of all time. Uh, prob like oh. I know Connor's. I think I know both of yours, actually. Yeah. Your least favorite is definitely King Shakalaka. Yeah, because it shouldn't be a boss. <laughs> it's a dude. And if you, if you haven't figured out what his favorite is yet, you're, you might be a fake fan. I gotta be honest. <laughs> there were only like three things in the in the loading screen for the stream. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not his profile picture or anything, or literally everything he puts on everything. 
Hey, man, got to have brand recognizability. <laughs> I'm his favorite. I that that's true, Matt. You're you're a, you're a monster. I know what you did in 1983. I won't tell anybody, but I know. I know what you did in 1983. Yeah, we're all... <laughs> he smiled. <laughs> Connor's favorite monster is Kezu. Um, eh, I, I've warmed up to Kezu a little bit. He's got, he got, he's less lame in Rise, but he, he ain't, like, he's still probably, like, bottom 30. I feel like I really need to think for a least favorite. Yeah, th That's I right. mean, even like I think I just I think I just leave on this quest. I don't think I actually have to accept it anywhere. I'm yeah, sure. so th this one is technically uh, an expedition, which is one where you can just like so expeditions you can just go out in the map and do whatever. This is this is still like technically an objective type of thing. They want you to go find the Kulu and hunt it, but they're introducing you to the concept of just like picking a map and going out there and just free hunting. Hey, yo, uh, Jorge Madrano with five bucks. Thank you very much. Hey, man, I really enjoy your videos and admire the effort. Uh, you put on them. Keep up the good job. I will keep up the good job. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Wait, does this dude think my name is Josh? Uh, your, na <laughs> your name is Josh. <laughs> My name is it's not Josh. Hey, if they want to po if they want to pay us, it's Josh now. <laughs> <laughs> there, Connor, Connor, we're splitting that five bucks. Right? <laughs> Your name is what? <laughs> I have fans now, Connor. Your name Man, is what? Gotta keep. Your name Josh is what the Josh. super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is what the super chat say they are, Josh. <laughs> It wasn't even the guy with the super chat. I know it wasn't. I don't care. I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah, every time someone faints, they get to change Josh's name. Hi, <laughs> right. Josh. Let's go, Josh. I hope you, you know, <laughs> that's good. Every time. <laughs> as if it wasn't the dude. Every time someone super chats, you get to change Nathan's name. <laughs> <laughs> now, where the fuck am I going? Typical so can you guys guy. just like hop in whenever the hell you want now? Now because I'm not like in an actual quest. Uh, use there. There's a cutscene for the chicken. It's like right at the beginning, though. You're good. You don't He's... have to go kill a bunch of dinosaurs first. <laughs> uh, they're comparing you to uh, Josh from Pro and Noob now. Jokes on you guys. I've never watched it. I don't know Josh who that one, is. Josh two, Josh three. Uh, like the Rage Gaming guys? Do you, have you never watched their stuff? Uh, I've seen a little. I couldn't tell you which one's Josh. Hey, hey, uh, he's, hey. he's the main guy. The Get on the ground! Guy. Get on the ground! Get away from my dinosaur! I have no idea. Rage I'll be honest, I think the only, only thing they have that I used to watch was their uh, layered armor highlights and rise. Hey, hey, kind of. hey, hey. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Uh, dispatch, I got a, I got a rogue lizard out here. I need backup. Um. Uh, to answer your question, favorite is definitely Jean Moran. Uh, it's not even close. Jean Moran is awesome. And I don't know if I have a least favorite. Ooh. I mean, I have some I definitely don't like for certain reasons, but I don't think anything really stands out as, like, a least favorite. Get up! This guy's just eating me out uh, on the ground here. Me on a Saturday night. <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to kill this guy. <laughs> I'm just fucking shooting away. Get away from my cat! Holy shit, go down. Cephadrome is the worst. Yeah, but I never really hunted a lot of Cephadrome, so I don't have a lot to complain <clears throat> about there. That, that's a that's a that's a perfectly <laughs> fine take. Cephadrome's pretty bad. Uh, Austin might need to. Actually, you know what? Uh, I think only because I have a good reason to say this, I think I'm gonna say Gypsaros is my least favorite. That's um, not the worst pick either. 
Yeah, not for any particular reason. I just never enjoyed hunting them to the extent that I modded for ultimate to give myself dash juices so Don't I didn't need to grind dash extract by hunting them. Don't you dare run! Finish this fight like a man! Um, I think... Oh, awesome. You'll have to, like, peek your menu and whatnot. You might be able to send up uh, an SOS flare that we can join. Uh, he's just eating dinosaurs whole. Oh, God. Me on a Tuesday afternoon. Damn them for making it a Kiwa. Me at the Golden Corral. <laughs> I, w I will say, playing uh, playing Freedom Unite again, Sonic Bombs and Hammer make Cephadrome stop moving quite a bit. It's not terrible in Freedom Unite, but you want to fight him in Dose or God forbid. Okay, so speaking of uh, like Rage Gaming and Pro and Noob and whatnot, I, I watched it when they played the original Monster Hunter. And I was watching that Cephadrome quest that they did. And I could hear the the development of PTSD in their voices playing that stupid quest. Yeah, no, I I be, I'm running a uh, hammer in Freedom Unite, and the best the best thing to deal with Cephadrome was to make it stop moving. You just hit the fish in the head until it stops. And that's just how fishing, fishing goes. Uh, soup slurp. Base decision to play great sword. Hell yeah. I think it's we're all... pretty good in Rise. High key, uh, Surge Slash is fun as hell. It's very underrated. Where the fuck I'm going? Uh, we're playing on PS5s right now, Colton. Uh, yeah, we have, uh, self-respect. <laughs> <laughs> um... Best Piscine Wyvern is Beatotis. I think that's Beatotis. That's not even close. With um, I would say pre-world Lavasioth in second place. I do. Yeah, no, Beo's cool. They didn't make him waste too much time. He looks cool. He's got neat moves. His sound design's fun. I like him a lot. Right. <laughs> When we do the Frontier tier lists, I'm very interested to see what uh, the reactions to the Zenith monsters are going to be. Hello, random wizard person. Hello. Oh my god. Who is this guy? Me high as fucking a Wendy's. <laughs> I haven't reached Iceborne yet because I want to finish up Base World before buying it. That's a good. That's a good call because then you can kind of just like muddle around in higher rank of um, in higher rank of world for a little bit. Yo, shout out to every single person watching right now because there's 69 viewers. Oh hell yeah! Nobody leave. <laughs> if we, oh, we stream got more. till it's tomorrow, now. <laughs> it's still leave. fantastic, but leave. not as funny. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? I'm just running. I think the map said it was up this way, so I'm just gonna. Run. Oh, okay. So, uh, Blast Shooter, talking about the the Battlefront games that are coming back out. Uh, I'm buying those day one. I am enormously excited. That's gonna be multi-platform and cross-play not only am i going to try and make it just like a game for like our group of friends to play but uh if there is a private server for the uh for the battlefront re-releases i'm going to be doing community nights already pre-ordered it i should probably get on that any of y'all soloed fatalis i haven't soloed fatalis i have soloed raging bracky and alatrion the, the, the night we finished Fatalis is still one of the peak gaming moments of my life. We had, uh, here's a story for everyone. We had been trying for literally three days to beat Fatalis, uh, between myself, Connor, and a few of our other friends. And there was one night where, uh, Connor and I were up until about two in the morning. Probably, yeah. And we finally got it at two in the morning, and I'm like, 
downstairs in my house screaming and popping off <laughs> at two in the morning because we were so excited that we finally finished fatalis after oh, three days of trying that was so good it, it was probably close to 15 hours of attempting it before we got it once probably i think i beat it like three or four times since then yeah very very good fight my lord was it hard though Raging Bracky is difficult as hell, and then you go watch the, like, two-and-a-half-minute speedrun, and it, it just makes you feel bad. It does. No, speedrunners make me feel, like, <laughs> awesome. feel bad. It's so incredible. They make me feel bad about <laughs> Man, myself. Man, I could never do that. You know what? I had a, uh, <laughs> I had a really stupid idea of um, for, like, YouTube videos of, like, uh, I'm a speedrunner for Monster Hunter. Like, just, like, trust me, bro. I'm a speedrunner for this game, but I'm only ever gonna, uh, post the quests, like, on YouTube where I don't successfully speedrun. <laughs> so I just post totally normal, completely flawed gameplay. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a speedrunner. I'm a speedrunner. <laughs> well, while you're doing it, you're just like, yeah, dude, I did this yesterday, uh, 2.5 seconds, done. Roasted right through it. Didn't get it on video, though. Sorry. Yeah, my capture card, you know, it did uh, fritzed out at the end there. <laughs> no, I wasn't even going to make excuses. Like, the whole joke is that I only post my flawed runs. I never post my, like, perfect speed runs. Never. Like, I'm the speed runner that, no that, that, like, nobody else will show you. It's just me playing the game perfectly normally. Just like a normal dude. Watching Rise speedruns is emasculating. No, it's not. You just don't know what you're doing. What you do is you go make the strongest bow that you can, put on close range coatings, and just use melee attacks because it out DPSs a lot of the weapons in the game. It's insane. You can kill things so quickly. All you have to do is stab things with arrows. It's nuts. Jesus Christ, fucking finally. Melee bow go burr. Too busy spamming zero sum based. I like that. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? I can't fucking find this place. I've practically searched the whole map. It's just like, yeah, go to the new campsite. And I'm like, okay. Nothing on my map. I'm just running around. What's you guys' favorite weapon to play wrong? I've played Shield Bash Lance for a short time. Shoulder tackle only greatsword. Nah, you're thinking too big. Kick only greatsword. Kick only. <laughs> Is that the only one that kicks anymore? <laughs> Hey, 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 guy, guy, hey, guy, guy, back up. We got a thief. <laughs> oh, God. Stop it. Stop chasing me. Just leave me alone. I'm just lost, all right? <laughs> Kinsect, all right. Ol Kinsect only insect lave. I feel like you can actually kind of go nutty with that. Someone probably found out how. It was super broken in 4 Ultimate. I'm under the impression that it's still pretty good in World and Rise, but those bugs were so strong in 4 Ultimate. I don't know if uh, if anybody remembers like the OG Monster Hunter podcast that was back oh. around when like Try was a thing. They used to do challenge runs, uh, so they did stuff like kicking monsters to death. Um, one of my favorite ones that they did, and this just remind me because I'm holding it, is they did... Um, uh, tail cut runs with only hunting horns because hunting horn has one move that does cutting damage. <laughs> Jesus fuck, I find Guy who's playing 3U on an emulator, uh, make sure you make at least one heavy bow gun so that you can do the heavy bow gun siege mode glitch. Celtic hey, stealing my pots. I like this guy. Basic dual blades only. No demon mode. Based. Alright. 
Cutscene fucking finally over. This guy just this guy just linked my pots. He showed up, smashed my pots, and then He <laughs> refused any bow gun? Alright, so what you don't understand here is that how the siege mode works. Uh which just lets you certain ammo types, you can just shoot your entire stock of ammo without needing to reload. Uh, and if you are underwater, you can glitch it so that you can do that with any ammo the gun shoots. <laughs> There's a reason the Goldbeard Sedea speedrun is about 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys should be able to join me now. hope so. Uh, uh, no. No? I just watched the cutscene! We got a... We know available quests. He's on an expedition, remember? Rue, okay. Does he need to send? I forget if there's like a weird way to join SOS or uh, expeditions. So I know you. I cannot use an SOS flare. Do I have to go chase this guy down? Do the. You got a high rank grind for abyssal laggy? No, you just need a Kelby bow. So do I gotta hunt the? Do I gotta hunt this guy and then? So I got, do I have to finish the expedition as well? I think, uh, maybe. I think we might be able to fucking... He said, uh, someone in chat saying you don't unlock SOS flares until a little bit into the game. Uh, how far how is far he? How far is he? Definitely not that far. He's at the Kulu expedition. Um, Austin has to leave. Okay, to join the quest, Austin has to leave. Oh, so he would, like, get a quest to go after the Kulu, right? Okay. So should I not kill him? I got my I got my bow pointed at him right now. He's looking at me with his little okay. beady eyes. So chat saying I mean, you're welcome to kill him on your own if you want. Yeah, chat saying you can return from expedition, repost, and we can join from there if you want to do that. Eh, he's right in front of me. Um, I might get uh I might get tired of it in the long run, but so far I like underwater. I think they could make it a bit more fluid. Um. So, with Underwater, because I, I, I have yet to really, like, sink my teeth into 3 Ultimate because I didn't have a 3DS at the time. But, dude, I it might be just due to the fact that I was a f moron kid. But I played Monster Hunter Try Underwater Combat with a Wiimote and Nunchuck, and I liked it, goddammit. <laughs> 3U sucks on 3. I'd imagine it's better on the Wii U. Yeah, we should be able to do Pookie though, because Pookie is just a normal ass quest. That shouldn't be a problem. As someone who loves For You on 3DS, because For You is fantastic on 3DS. For You just doesn't work. For You, For You is like they they took everything good from the Wii U version and just stripped it off to put it on the 3DS. Maybe. They probably had to downsize it a little bit. It doesn't even have online multiplayer. Right, yeah. I mean, well, that's that might be like a cultural, like, Japanese type of thing. Because a lot of the original... Maybe. A little, a, a lot of the, the PS... Wii U had the online multiplayer. That one the did. The 3DS was only local. A lot, of the, a lot of the PSP Monster Hunters were local only. Just because, like, um, mobile game... Like, portable gaming culture in Japan at the time was really, really big. Uh, yeah. I think portables in Japan outsold consoles. At, I think that's not quite the same now, but around that era of like the uh, like the late two thousands and whatnot, that was a big thing. Uh, Matt's leaving. All right, that's too bad. Three was made for the three DS version. Was ported to Wii U later in Japan. America got three on both systems day and day. Yeah, three on Citra using. I've been trying to use 3U on Citra. It's weird, but my, um... So I have 4U working on Citra perfectly fine. Something's weird about, I think, the, the 3U copy I got, or, like, or like the, the ROM I got, or just, you know, wherever I got it from, but I can't get it above, like, 60% speed. It's very weird. Um, Three on CMU is more optimized. 
We kids just learn to adapt to. It. Yeah, dude. We we kids, uh, dude. I some of my favorite gaming memories as a kid were the Conduit games on the Wii. Anyone, I was about to bring up Conduit. Does anyone else play Conduit? Conduit was amazing. The first person shooter on the Wii. That game was phenomenal. Oh my god, the, those games. Those games were like actually the multiplayer in that game. In those games were like actually kind of good, dude. That was um. So that was that was so far back. Me playing Conduit Online was so far back that I was playing with our buddy Joe, right? And this was before I had uh, a phone. This is probably before, like, right before I had an iTouch. I didn't know Skype existed, so I took the house phone, called my yeah, friend. Yeah, we used to call landlines. <laughs> yeah, we used to call landline <laughs> and nestled it in my shoulder and put it on speaker. And that's how I played games online with my friend. It was awesome. We used to play Try Like That, too. We did. Not for super long, because uh, our buddy Jake told us what the hell Skype was. <laughs> but then, yeah, we used to play <laughs> speaker calls on landline phones. Uh, I, I saw it was a couple minutes ago, but soup slurp talk about surge slash uh here's my fun fact for surge slash emotion values are higher for the attacks so elemental greatsword is actually viable yeah it's still not the most optimal but it is viable no but it's fun Holy as hell shit, this thing needs to die yeah godzilla unleashed Wii controls were great too oh no they weren't no they weren't that <laughs> game was not good that game was not good godzilla unleashed on the Wii was not a good game <laughs> Godzilla Unleashed on the Wii was kind of rough. 2000s were different. 2000s were good, man. Godzilla Godzilla Unleashed Destroy All Monsters was was a better game than Unleashed. I actually um that be so, I could totally stream uh I have saved the earth on a on a uh what is it? PC VX2 emulator. Rise made the elemental meta. Rise definitely made element better. Yeah, I'm gonna. Chat, what what's your favorite Wii game and why is it Deadliest Catch? <laughs> oh, that was another thing. All the all the licensed games for the Wii, dude. <laughs> licensed games was a whole other era. Licensed games were awesome. You remember what they they used to make like licensed games for like t for like TV for game everything. shows. Everything for everything, dude. Like they made they made them for like Jeopardy. They made it for they made licensed games for Are You Smarter Than a Fucking Fifth Grader? <laughs> I was gonna say Deal or No Deal, but yeah, that yeah, Deal or Deal, de Deal or Deal, Deal or Deal, the show, Deal or Deal, take one of them. <laughs> you get two. You get you you get to pick, Deal or Deal. Go, Diego, go for the Wii. <laughs> the ones on... Yeah, no, dude, the ones on PlayStation Based, 2 were honestly. good. Yeah, PlayStation 2 was awesome. I love my PlayStation 2. I'm glad I got an emulator for that. I need to get more games for it. I need to get Medal of Honor Vanguard. My grandmother had the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader game from the PS2. <laughs> The game introduced you to Godzilla. That's a yeah. Um, just my I got introduced to Godzilla because my cousin had Destroy All Monsters Melee on his GameCube, and he hooked that bad boy up to a projector the on Dr. his. Doctor Kill game was fire. The what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I interrupted you. That was way too funny. I, I think that was, I think, is your grandma smarter than a fifth grader then? <laughs> I, you know what? You'd hope so, right? You'd hope so.
my first exposure to Godzilla was seeing baby God being captured by space Godzilla. That made eight year old me sad. That that scene like high key is kind of sad to watch. It's a weird movie though. I really want to say you're the one that introduced me to Godzilla, but I can't think of what the first one would have been. Oh, well, that's a shame. It's probably going to see the Godzilla movies because of you, like the the recent American trilogy. I most most of the guys I know didn't grow up with it like I did. I think I I think I got the friends I have that are into it. I got most of them into it, like you, like Steve. Grandpa showed me this one of the seventies movies. Those movies are fun. I actually have the um, the the Showa Criterion Collection. It's like right next to me. I love having that. I may or may not have died because I get injections before, so I had no potions to work with. Uh, well, you uh, know what? Nobody saw it, so it didn't, a... didn't happen. Didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. I was, uh, did I say died? I meant, um, y you know, I, uh, I took a break to do my taxes. <laughs> Damn, that's just as bad. Uh, Austin, in the base camp, there's a blue chest that has potions in it for you. Yeah, I got hit like once, and I like went to go take a potion. And my guy just started tossing meat on the ground. <laughs> I had no potions, and I was like, mm. <laughs> "Oh yeah, who won the bet?" <laughs> yeah, did anyone bet? Did anyone bet? Did anyone Kuliyaki? not? Did anyone not bet me? I think th I thought they were betting on monsters. They don't get potions Wait. for expeditions. Oh, you're right. Where do I get? Where do I get motherfucking potions? Uh, you can buy them. Yeah, they haven't set up the Dollar General on the beach yet. <laughs> All right, step one of getting Austin potions: get him to Iceborne so he can do the Steam game. <laughs> Yeah, Austin, hurry up! Like honestly, like what the fuck? <laughs> Why aren't you so in many, master rank yet? There's so many people. I don't know which one of them sold potions. Surely it's this guy with his fucking. No, you're just a, uh -oh. you're just a plant person. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I got it. Smurf account has left the online <laughs> session. Early world multiplayer experience: the waiting room simulator. Anyways, Nate, where do I actually like potions? <laughs> Are you back at the hub? Yeah, I'm assuming it's down here in, like, the trade area down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a dude, uh, there's a short dude standing on top of a bunch of boxes who will sell them to you. Uh, Nate, can you throw an invite at me? Uh, yeah, hold on. I tried to just join this. Maybe because I'm not in there, it doesn't count that as a squad session anymore. I have no fucking idea why. It probably wasn't a squad session to begin with. I thought I create. eh, whatever, fucking, who cares? Well, you made the session and then invited us to the squad, so I don't know. Yeah, hang in. Uh, yeah, it is... Austin, right at the front gate where you probably came in, there's a dude with, like, two horns looming over him for the provision stockpile. He'll sell you potions. Oh, there he fucking is. You, he was really up there. I was like, there ain't nobody here. I was like, there's no one here. Nate is lying to me. <laughs> I'm gaslighting you. It's Swole Cat who sells potions. <clears throat> Make him fight a Latrion tonight. Uh, you know, we're good. We'll try. We'll try. No, we'll world. We'll world. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll dose. <laughs> Alright. Now I can... Take the quest and we head to the wild far waste to meet immediately. Favorite okay. kaiju? Gigan, because he can't hold a soda can. <clears throat> My favorite kaiju is Shin Godzilla. Um I have to think. Destoroya is a really good one. 
Uh, you know what? He's not my favorite, but if you've ever got like those like those weirdos who've never done anything but you really like them, uh, I've got a big soft spot for Varen. Uh, Varen's only been in a Godzilla movie for about three seconds. I like him from other media. I do like Varen though. I have never seen a movie with Guy Gan. I just think he's funny looking. I should sh I have all the ones he's in. Of the ones I've actually seen, I do really like Mothra. I feel like it's a basic answer, but I'm a fan. I... Uh, a basic, a basic, basic answer for the favorite is Ghidorah. That's like I feel like super basic. Like who doesn't like King Ghidorah? Everybody should. That's like it's so fucking cool. It's a golden, like... lightning breathing, three headed dragon. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. I like the Ghidorah with the goofy ass head. Yeah, the that's one... one of the best. That's one of the best <laughs> movies, uh, the old movies ever. Is when the aliens come down and they they fucking they're like, hey, hey, we we need we need him. We're gonna take Godzilla for a little bit, and uh, we'll be back. And then they just bring him to like Mars. To they get they, they fight Ghidorah <laughs> on the moon. <laughs> liking liking Anguirus is 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 uh, a good good call. I remember when the Brian Cranston, um, if you can even call it the Brian Cranston Godzilla, um, it, it well, it was for about thirty minutes. Yeah, thirty's generous. <laughs> I don't even know if it was thirty. Um, I remember when it was like, you know, it was me and Taylor, my brother, were gonna go and we were gonna watch it at the theater. But the good, the the Ghidorah one where they, the aliens come down and pick him up, we were watching it on TV and we were like, shit, no, but this one. This one's this one's better. I was like, I don't know if I want to go see the other one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, some of those old ones are like kind of good. Monster oh, hunting, man. monster hunting on the moon. That should be the expansion for Monster Hunter Wilds. It's on the moon. She's gonna copy the ending of Mario Odyssey. Shown Godzilla vs. Gigan. That one that one's just funny. That's a funny movie. That's a Scooby Doo movie with, with Godzilla in it. I'm down. That's what we're watching. A, a group watch on stream. Let's go. I want yeah. To I'm to I'm down to get copyright strikes. Yeah, fucking me. Not me, it's Connor's channel. Sue Connor and Josh, not me. <laughs> You can stream it, stream it on the Patreon. Uh, is that the one with Megalon? No, Godzilla vs. Megalon. is. Gigan is in the movie with Megalon, but Gai, uh, Godzilla vs. Gigan is a different thing. I just ran out. I remember when we went to PAX one time, and I still have mine, um, there was, like, someone selling, like, I don't even know how to describe it, like, glass art, I guess you could say, and it's, like, these really thick, like, pieces of glass with the art inside of them, and they had, like, small ones and big ones, and Connor literally just, like, pointed at the Godzilla one and said, like, I want that one, and <laughs> I was like, dude, I was like, dude, 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 and I was like, I was like, my little one was, like, 200 bucks, I was like, do you know how much you just spent on that thing? And he's like, I, I don't. I don't, care. I, I don't care. He's like, I don't, I don't care. Um, I got a space one because I'm a, I love space, and it's like, you know, paperweight size, and it was freaking expensive as hell. My, yeah, mine was probably, probably two hundred bucks. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's on yeah. my desk. <laughs> Batra is better. Batra is kind of cool. That's another one who's only ever shown up in one movie. He is kind of cool. There's a whole bunch of them I'd love to see them do more with. Especially now that Minus One just made, like, a fucking hundred million dollars. What a it. fucking Godzilla movie. Shit. You just flashbang the birds. Fuck them. Yo, bird. Austin. Yes. Austin, check out this frog. I know, I was, I was, I was fighting the, uh, the Kulu, Yaku, whatever the fuck. And um, I was admiring the chunky boy as he been paralyzed before. Nothing new. No, I can move. Our... <laughs> oh, 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 there he is! Oh, hey, Hands up, here. son! Hands up, son! I just missed. Got it.
<clears throat> Sir, pull over the vehicle. <laughs> Have you been drinking tonight? Stop resisting. <laughs> smells like marijuana in this wood, son. You got anything <laughs> to say about that? <clears throat> this guy killed me once and I brought my friends and now he wishes he did not kill me. <laughs> he regrets his decision. He's got a weapon! No, he's got... He's throwing acorns at me. It's a, a niche um, little callback to... Yeah, I disconnected again. Watching the news. Oh. Don't worry, Austin, we got this. You got your cat to help now. I had to fucking set up Ethernet in my room, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm hardwired right into oh, this I... PlayStation. I slid off the thing. Looking at Chayet. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll take this down. Even if I get sucked into another dimension, I can still enforce justice. I'm gonna give a public apology to the chat that they now have to watch Hunting Horn gameplay and not Sexy Penguin Greatsword. Dude, Hunting Horn, everyone was super <laughs> thrilled that I was playing Hunting Horn. I don't know if anybody's upset about that. As they should be, man. Hunting Horn's fantastic. There are a few people saying that, huh? That was like their... Hunting Horn is one of the weapons that you are always happy to see someone in an online lobby using. Yep, because nobody plays it, and it's really good. Jesus Christ, you just cleaved him, and he, his, he, his fucking sword was halfway down his neck. Don't you dare run! Hold on, stay back a little bit. So you can see it's limping. Yep. So it's actually going to go to sleep to try and gain okay. some health back. Okay. Uh, the hit that wakes up a monster has a damage multiplier on it. I figured it would make sense. So we'd let him go to bed? Yeah. Damn, I didn't bring bombs. <laughs> Hunting Horn is the best weapon. Yeah, people who like Hunting Horn really like Hunting Horn. Because nobody plays Hunting Horn. Go to sleep. He's probably going to get a chat attack. But... Yes. Did it go down or up? Oh, I think it's attacking. I was going to say, it's right here. Oh. Couldn't see it at all. Sir, pull over. I love to kill something with that. The hunting horn kick thing off the clutch claw. Let me see if I can break his knees. <laughs> me playing basketball. Sir, pull over the vehicle. Can you imagine if this is how real cops did it? Guy takes out a gun, the cops shoot him, and then they just start, like, pulling him apart. <laughs> like, oh, I'll take his wallet. I got I'll him! take his watch. I kicked him in the head and I killed him. I got dibs on the gold crowns in his teeth. Wait till Super Cooler gets revenge. We'll have to do Super Cooler at some point. Um, I need to figure out how to play Frontier. From what I've heard, it's not hard to to get Frontier to work. I'm gonna watch myself get him again. Oh, I fucking plays an ad. God damn it! I want to watch me kick him in the head and kill him again. <laughs> My hunter rank increased. 
Did you actually get off of this? Yeah. Man, I'm gonna refresh this. Up to rank 419. He will remember this. Uh, yeah, no, we'll meet. We'll meet Kulu again. We are, however, going to save this screenshot and be kicking him in the head and killing him. <laughs> there we go. That's saved. And the VOD is saved forever, so I have that footage forever. <laughs> Kulu, Kulu li lives matter. No, Kulu lives matter, apparently. Oh, you're, you're right, you're right. Nah, that motherfucker don't care. Not to, yeah, not to head into the wide by waste immediately, fucking dick. Um. Oh, sorry, are you talking to me, Commander Guy? Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna need another invite because it's still not counting this as a squad session. Stop telling me to go places I don't want to go. Mm. Swap over to this. Swap over to... Alright, I gotta do that. I, see, I, I feel like this would be so much better if it just had, like, normal multiplayer. It would! It really Holy fucking would. Shit. Like it's like this fa we'll the fact there. that I have to like go do like all my shit and then like find you guys again. Then I have to hop in and do my start it by myself. It's like whole. It. Yeah. Once we fucking bypass the story, we're pretty much like once we want to just like play the game normally, it's fine. They set up this the single player story for this game really stupid. Uh, no lance today. We're we're uh, we're maining hunting horn in the second profile for world. At least for a at least for a little while. Bagpipes. That's what we're doing. They can call it what they want. <laughs> All right. I'll wait for there. We watching the cinematic monster intros. Um, I mean, I'm a little ahead of the game. Like, I beat the Baroth quest. I could pull. I can pull them up in like a second tab, though. See, what I don't understand is it would just make so much sense, right? Like, if I join you or you join me or whoever joins, like, if there's someone in in the game who hasn't seen the cutscene, if I'm in, say whatever, you're in my game, the cutscene has me. If you're in we're, if we're in Connor's game and I haven't seen the cutscene, the cutscene shows you and just shows the cutscene so I can see it. Like that's I what it should like, be. That oh is what God. it should like, be. This idea that like I have to go do the cutscene and then like now I'm like, I, can they join me yet? No. Uh, that's annoying. That's super annoying. Yep, it's not well set up. Or it, or just like you know like back Halo, you know back in when me and my brother used to play Halo One on the old Xbox. It's just more characters in the cutscenes. It, it's just, you know, every cutscene has Master Chief, and that's it. Yep. And it's like, okay. You know, like, that's all it was. The, there wasn't two Master Chiefs or whatever, or, like, you know, you had to do, like, that's so... It'll... To be fair, it wasn't online, but... Ah, big Halo guy. I love Halo. This be better? Yeah, so the, uh, the issue with sharing his screen, we tested this out yesterday, is that, like, OBS and PlayStation don't fucking sync up with one another if i screen you have sh to be in a party it's so annoying you yeah i think we should be able to i think we should be able to join this one normally though Hi. this shouldn't be a uh, a cutscene for pookie yeah because we tried sharing my screen so like i could do like the intro and you guys could watch but when when you do share screen, it forces you into a party with whoever's watching. So, it, we just couldn't record our voices, so... Just figured that this would be better. 
better, easier, I guess. Thankfully, this with this one, we can just fucking do it normal. Yeah, mostly we just have to like clear the clear the story shit. Once we actually like want to make some new gear and just want to like play the game normally, we're perfectly fine. Yeah, this won't be an issue. I haven't been reading the chat. Let me catch back. <clears throat> A lot of nerd talk I don't understand, but respect it. Honestly, they should just teleport all players to the cutscene location. Looking at Reddit. <laughs> what an idea. Yeah, let's not. Don't care. I don't know what that just said, but I said go. Puke time. A puke time. I mean, I eh, he kinda. What, what I could do with the cutscenes is, like, sync it up so that, uh, I, like, I have, I have a tab, uh, of just, like, the cutscenes for the game lined up. I could, like, kind of roughly sync it up. And then Nate and I would, like, join in. We could do that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, no. Just the way the way World does it is uh, just f stupid. Like, the story of this game was not set up well. Is Nate with us? Where's Nate? I went to the other base camp. Oh. Yeah, see, I just clicked. I just clicked the first one. I went to the base camp that spawned me next to the monster. Anyone in the chat have non-monster questions for us? Anyone wondering about <clears throat> any, any part about our lives? What's your I'm social talking. security number? Uh, 017. Uh, <laughs> yeah, chat, ask us anything. I'm a big talker. I love fuck. Uh, I Nate, was, Sam wants in. You want me to invite him? Yeah, you can invite him in. He has to make sure his Discord is hooked up to his PlayStation. Uh, he could just join oh, just the Discord running. Yeah, he could just join the Discord normally. Sam, are you on a fresh account or are you using your master level stuff? Jurassic World. I don't know. We don't need you coming in here one shotting the bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ooh, that's a good question. How did we all meet? Um, so I didn't really know until Connor. And, um, Connor and I one day were in. I really rem remember Connor from high school. We were in, like, a, a writing class together. Yep. Writing class. That was, like, when we really first started becoming friends. And uh, then, we then like, the class ended, and I was like, damn, I'm not in a class with Connor anymore. Like, that sucks ass. And then. I walked to my next class, which was film analysis, and Connor was sitting there, and I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> and then we were hanging out that summer, and Connor was with us for, like, five days in a row. And I was literally just like, give me your phone, Connor. And I just added him. I was like, I was like, you're one of us now, Connor. And then Nate just kind of came along with that. Yeah, you and I were mutuals through our buddy Sam. Yeah, Sam really is the... Someone asked about Sam Jurassic I'm World. About I mean, I don't know. Jurassic Park movies, they're not terrible, but I, I, I just feel like they... Even the old ones, I mean, they, they peter out towards the, the more you watch them. The first one's obviously a classic. Yeah, they didn't really need to make sequels. Now, Jurassic Park 1 is, like, insanely good. 2 is fine, 3 is questionable. And then even the Chris Pratt one, the first Chris Pratt one really isn't bad. And then they start kind of, you know, momentum. Yeah, that's a franchise that they need to uh, just let die. Yeah, no, Connor and I... Let the dinosaurs be dead. Um, uh, and yeah, I actually think, met Austin we... a lot later. We didn't really start doing anything together until after high school. Yeah. But I've known Connor since second grade. Yeah, I didn't like that, you when we great. met. Because I thought yeah, you were yeah, stealing my best friend away. 
Do you blame him? I mean, Nate's a fucking loser. No, no, see, um, we had another friend, Zach. And Zach and I were, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach and I were, like, best, best friends. And we were in a different, uh, friend group. And then we left... Drink your potion before you die! We left that friend... Oh, God. Um, <laughs> we left that friend group, and then Zach met Nate. And I didn't like Nate, because Nate was talking with my best friend. And I didn't like that <laughs> very much. Some real little kid energy. It real no, it really was. Well, it had been like what nine? Oh god, second grade? No, it was probably seven. I don't remember. Cause I'm a little older. Oh, true. Yeah, because we graduated high school. Old what? fart. Coming up on coming up on ten years. Uh, yeah, eight years this yeah. Year. yeah. In case anyone hasn't gathered. Jealous girlfriend energy. Bro. Probably. It's fun. It's funny. A lot of my best friends today were people I did not like when I met them. Yeah, except me. I'm a fucking dog. Yeah. Well, I um, I I we weren't friends. I knew who you were in like sixth grade because we had a couple of classes together. All right, what other what other questions we got? Ask us anything. Nate, you're kind of quiet for me. I don't know. I, I might have to turn you up, but I don't know if it's you. How about now? Yeah, it's kind of simple. Let me actually All go right. into the party. Turn you up. <laughs> well, I moved my I microphone a little closer to my mouth. Oh wow, your volume on the party on Discord is like mad for me. <clears throat> Talk talking. Okay. Okay, that's loud. All right. <laughs> Did I watch Primal when it came out? Uh, not when it first came out. I eventually got around to watching Primal. I really liked it. Not the tail. Nice. Uh, what games do we like outside of Monster Hunter? That's Ooh. a good one. I'm a big story guy. Yeah, I know Austin's I about, to, about to say oh. Helldivers, but... <laughs> uh, no, I mean, Helldivers is fun, but I do recognize that it's not like some... Fu it's fun because it's fun. It's just... It's not some masterpiece of a game. Um... I, I love story games, like, with a passion. Um, I play a lot of... I play a lot of Battle Royales, too, because of the Weebo. Uh, but my favorite game... If I had to pick, like, a favorite game ever... I don't know, Red Dead 2. I know that's, like, a basic answer, but by God. Uh, I'd say I'm pretty similar in that sense. I actually play a lot of JRPGs <clears throat> and just RPGs in general. Uh, oh yeah, like I love I love JRP like Dragon Quest. God, I love Dragon Quest so much. I played the hell out of Persona Five. You uh, know what's funny? I feel like I, I would love that game. Played the hell out of Scarlet Nexus, banger game. Oh, Fire Emblem. Oh, give me fun. Oh my God, I. Oh yeah, you're big on Fire Emblem. Lube myself up for some more Fire Emblem, really. I've only ever played Three Houses because uh, our our friend who is. Actually named Josh. Actually named Josh. <laughs> um, he's like a Fire Emblem hardo. He loves Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem. And he was like, dude, try Three Houses. And I was like, by God, this is the greatest game ever. <laughs> I played the shit out of it. There's a, uh, there's a, if, if, you ever want, if you ever need to know my type, it's an odd type, but I got a type. Um, there's a girl in that game named Marianne, and she's miserable. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it, and I don't know why. <laughs> that makes me sound so bad, but she's so depressed, and I love it so much. Uh, let's see. We Scarlet have... Nexus mentioned base, nice. Yeah, Scarlet Nexus, fantastic game. <clears throat> I love that game so much. Um. Oh, what am I? Hold on. Someone, quick, someone's asking a real on quick. Stories one and two. I haven't played Stories one. I'm looking forward to replaying it when they do the remaster. <laughs> I thought Stories two was pretty fun, and I know for a fact I'm the only person in this call who played it. So I need uh, to eventually get around to playing it. Yeah. Oh, don't even stop, Leonardo. Don't don't say the word D and D, please, God. <laughs> I might jump out of my skin. I love D and D so much. I am dying to play D and D, but I I love D and D so much. I prioritize it because like I love writing stories. I my character that I made in this game, the white hair and everything. I based him off a character that I, me and Connor play because Connor's my DM, and um. 
uh, I literally like have in my notes. I write legitimate like chapter long like stories about him, <laughs> and I like literally have like like notes upon notes upon notes of just like me writing stories about like my D and D characters because I love D and D so. Much. And everyone else is I get it. Everyone else is an adult. They're busy. Um, and we haven't played in a long time, and I am I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm literally like I need to check myself into an institution because I am so <clears throat> painfully withdrawn from D and D. I also play D and D, however, not with them because Connor knows I'm a dick. <laughs> I know better. Um, Leonardo also <laughs> asked how I'm thinking about the game, which is a good question. Um, I mean, this is really fun. I I, I really am. No offense, all right, but when I look at this game from like an outside perspective, I'm like, that's a weird game. But I, um, it's definitely more fun with friends because I like just the intro part was just kind of man, <clears throat> and um, you didn't really get to fight anything anyways in the intro part. But the game is drastically more fun, and I'm not thrown off. But like you know, the only way I can describe it is this game has a lot of very Japanese things, because you know, makes sense. Like final, like Final Fantasy has kind of like some. Japanese things that doesn't oh, throw me, me off. Invite Sam. Like the way people look and the way people talk, like I love that. That's fine. Um, oh, Pokemon Souls hot games. takes. I, I freaking love Pokemon. Uh, Funny. I don't think either of you guys have played in quite a long time, but um, I love Pokemon. I haven't played since Sword and Shield. Last Pokemon. Oh, I'll beat you there. Last one I played was Soul Silver. Um, which it's a good I pick, loved, honestly. Loved the fuck out of Soul Silver. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I feel like if you play one Pokemon game, you play them all, man. Honestly, I, I really feel like they don't change very much. No, that's fair. <clears throat> hey, man, I I'm a big fan of RPGs and games that teach ten year olds how to dogfight strangers. So <laughs> you really can't go wrong. Oh, see, funniest uh, D and D story, man. I, I there's so. Oh there's, no, there's, I got this. Yo, let me go first. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, Nate. I... Nate's probably more equipped. I'm a pretty serious player. <laughs> I am not. Uh, I passed a persuasion check saying rain rain go away come again another day to make a rainstorm quiet down <clears throat> oh you know what i you know see you know what's funny um they're funny to us because like we were there and we know the context but like someone described this on like a talk show some like hollywood nerd who's like an actor he's like telling other people about D D who like weren't there is like telling people about a movie that did doesn't exist um which is a really good way to put it but a really good uh, way to put it there was one very similar to what we're doing now lucius the character that i'm designing my monster hunter guy off of and my favorite character we were on an island very similar to this there are monsters a lot of dinosaurs it's basically monster hunter um and when we were leaving no one on the no one on the <clears throat> island spoke common so we were like talking to them <laughs> i remember and this story. Already knows. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the whole trope with lucius is that he's really tough and he's like kills everything in his path, but by God, he's not like you know like the tough guys were like yeah I'm tough I'll tough anything out. Lucius isn't like that. He's kind of a bitch, and so like I was like yeah you don't need to translate this one. Um, this place sucks. I hope it burns to the ground, and I hope this island never sees the light of day ever again. And I hope we never have to come back here because I think no one should ever touch foot on this hellscape ever again. And the guy didn't understand what I was saying, and it was just hysterical. And I loved it so much. I'm gonna cry. We'll need to uh, we'll need to figure out when, when we want when that when we have time to play because cool. we get we got to find new people. Sam. <laughs> hey, Sam's here. Hi, Sam's Sam, here. Nate. Hi, Connor. Hi, Sam. Sam. Hi. Everybody, this is Sam. I'm Sam. That's Sam. Someone mentioned Souls games earlier. Um, I've only <laughs> played. Um, I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. I'm just. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the stream played... can hear me though. They should be able to hear. Yeah, yeah they're saying hi. They should they're saying hello. Me. There's yeah. a little bit of a delay. <clears throat> There's a teeny uh, bit of a delay. Oh, okay, okay. I like Nate's taste. Give me three games and I'll try to play one of them. Bro, I need a little bit more context than that. What the hell are you talking about? Just name three games. Name three games. He's gonna play them. <laughs> name name three games that you like. This guy likes your vibe, and he see what three games right. you recommend. That's this man trusts obvious. you implicitly, Josh. Oh yeah, sorry, Josh. <laughs> uh, all right, hold Pokemon on. Me, fan uh... thoughts on Digimon. <laughs> uh, Digimon, super cool monster design, super mid IP. Otherwise, 
Yeah, talk right. about uh, let's talk see about three the three games. Let me pull up my PlayStation. Now hold on, hold on. There's quick. two. There's two. There's two answers for Nate here. He's either gonna give the for shit who? post answer and tell you to play like femboy aim trainer, or, or he's going to give you three legitimate games that he really likes. I'll give you three three games that I legitimately like. Um, let's see. What about the Chad uh, Bakugan? That that's a pretty good pick. Bakugan's a pretty good the, pick. Nate's about to say Peppa Pig. Uh... Hello Kitty Island Adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm gonna throw out a couple a couple of different ones. Um, and Ride to and Hell Retribution. <laughs> Everyone's favorite, the classic. Uh, top of my list. Uh, game called the sexy brutal which is a phenomenal puzzle puzzle game with a banger uh like i'm gonna call it jazz soundtrack but it's like big band jazz uh fantastic like murder mystery puzzle game um something more competitive i'm a huge fan of speedrunners there is no better competitive game in my opinion because that one is so much fun uh and i think as a third choice ooh. We'll throw a shooter in there. How about Titanfall 2? Fantastic That's game. Titanfall so 2 is the best answer. A legendary Matt, Matt Mercer performance. <laughs> I have uh, many other games I could recommend as well. But we'll throw those three out there. Waiting, those are three that I'm seeing on my list for, here. I was waiting for a Celeste uh, drop. I know you like those kind of games. I do. I'm a really big fan of uh, 2D platformer games. Celeste is fantastic. Shovel Knight is fantastic. Uh, before anyone says Hollow Knight, I actually thought Hollow Knight was super boring. Um, You're wrong, but anyway. It's it's no no it's no no, no, no. don't get me it's wrong don't get me wrong. Fantastic game mechanically. I at no point had any idea what the hell. That's fair. I don't want to play a video game that I need to go watch a six-hour YouTube video to understand what the hell I just played. That's a waste of my time. <laughs> That's the see, same reason see, I'm not going to go play Five Nights at Freddy's either. <laughs> See, I don't hey, mind. I don't see, mind I'm the opposite. Like that like I, yeah. See, I don't care, man. I, I just read Dune. I don't think I grasped a single second of what was happening. By God, it was so good. Well, I was just and... about. I was. <laughs> I was just about to say, Nate. I'm the opposite. I've never touched Five Nights. Of... All right, am I back? No. He's so no, amazing. Absolutely yeah. Um. Absolutely. Does Matt Pat have a video I, of Kirby I... lore? Okay, it should be fine. You're gonna have to do a little bit here. Yeah. Why the fuck did that just open? Bro said oh, he man. didn't touch FNAF and died. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, what I was Pretty gonna dope. say, I've never, I've never touched a single FNAF game in my entire life. But by God, I have watched every single game theory video about this oh, yeah. fucking game. <laughs> haven't, haven't I, I, have spent, I, I definitely have spent way too much time watching those videos and like every single Markiplier Five Nights at Freddy's video at least once. See, like... that's, I, I, I rarely watch people play it, but I've watched like every lore video on them ever made. Okay, yeah, yeah. The, not entirely true. The, <laughs> the best playthrough of the Five Nights at Freddy games is the ones that Vanoss Gaming did with Louie. So fucking true, oh, dude. The first I time, the first time he did face cam in his entire <laughs> life, and it was for Five Nights at Freddy's. And it was for essentially a point and click Someone, scary um, game. He was shooting a waste basket with an airsoft gun. And his monitor. They, they keep dropping. They keep talking about. They keep talking about Souls games in the chat, and you know, I, no one ever agrees with me. I played the Souls games. I played Elden Ring, which are very similar. I think Sekiro is better than all of them, and I, I think Sekiro smacks some of those Souls games. So I, Sekiro is so fucking good, it's not even funny. And if you haven't played it, go play it. By God, you will be a changed person after that. So good. Because <laughs> I, 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 I'm a firm believer of like Elden Ring is tough. It's tough. I don't care what anyone says. I have a friend who's like my my, my best friend Zach. He's every time I play a hard game, I'm like man, that was really hard. He's like, I don't. Know. I, I fucking I smacked it easy not no diff and Elden Ring is really hard but like Souls games it's like especially when you play them now it's like the enemy swings okay your turn okay the enemy's turn and like you just gotta take turns at each other Elden Ring nah those motherfuckers are flipping all over the screen they're fucking doing whatever the whole screen is full of shit nah, that's, that, that's a hard game
<clears throat> yeah, check your roll. Yeah, second was classic, man. So goddamn good. Soul setting yeah, second like... combat. It's undefeated. Yeah. Oh my god, when you're when you're fighting up on the roof and you're just like fucking parrying every hit. Oh my god, it's like boner inducing. <laughs> I, if I hey, if if I if, I don't need Viagra. Just let me play Sekiro. Bricked. <laughs> I feel like the last time I've hopped on and played Monster Hunter with you guys was when we beat Fatalis. Probably. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I haven't played with you in a while. Yeah, I bring a people together. What a guy, honestly. What, what can I say? You know, uh, it's funny. I'm the tough, big, burly monster hunter, and this poor girl is pushing this fucking cart up this mountain. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a Mario Kart track, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're... Dry, dry desert. Oh, yeah. Dude, you're in cheese land. Yeah. <laughs> cheese Wait till you land. Get the rainbow yeah, yeah, dude. Let's talk about let's talk about Mario Kart maps, and I'll tell you why you're all wrong, and that cheese land's the best map ever. <laughs> also, Connor, I like how your name is oh. Smurf account. Smurf account, yeah. I like that. The man tells it like it is. I am playing Hunting Horn, that is correct. We got Hunting Horn, Bow, Insect Glaive, and Greatsword today. Beating Sword Saint Ishin on my second try was one of the most... Second try on Sword Saint Ishin, good lord. That's pretty good, dude. Jesus! <sighs> He's like one of the harder bosses from software. He's up he there. just... Probably like top not three or four. Coming. Yeah, no, he's like. Um... See, that was that was me. See, okay, see, this is something you guys learn. I know what I'm talking about. I don't. I'm not good with names. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Radon. Fucking, I beat him in like my third try, and I almost, I almost levitated off my chair. <laughs> I, mean, I, I was like, because when you, you, because uh, I, you know, I still live at home, because you know. And like my parents are right in the other room, and I'm screaming, screaming <laughs> my head off, and they're like, "What? What? What?" And I'm like, "I am that guy." <laughs> <laughs> hey, this doesn't look like uh, this doesn't look like the guy I was supposed to. Hunt. This is a dragon guy. What is this guy doing here? <laughs> Surprise, Honor. I I appreciate that you 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 have a hunting horn, so you can put down a beat for us to juju to. That that's that's the point. I like uh, how this dragon lands in front of us, and instead of being like, "Yeah, let's wait for him to fly away," they're like, "Nah, keep pushing." We soldier onwards. <laughs> so, he's right in front. I mean, he is like sniffing me right now. We are men of science. God damn it! <laughs> Let the Scottish fuel, fuel you, duder. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want. Alright, uh... Oh, shit, they, I didn't even... Chat, you're gonna pick something for me. A buddy just texted me. Uh, he's starting up a new Rise playthrough. Pick a weapon for him. First one I see is the, is the one he's running. Bare hands. <laughs> Gun Lance. Uh, Gun Lance is first. <laughs> he plays... <laughs> Twice. He's already a gunlet. That's so funny. Sandra. That's really funny that two people said gunlets. He already plays gunlets. <laughs> that says gunlets. That's so good. <laughs> That's really funny. See the cutscene. We should be we should be doing this together, right? We now. yes, we should. Happened already. Yeah. Like the fact that I have to literally walk with these guys through the desert alone is really annoying. This is the only mission that's like that, I believe. Yeah, it's this kinda is weird. It's the only yeah no. This is the only push mission. No, uh, it's that's the thing. They call it the best kind of quest to like be ironic. Escort missions still suck. It doesn't matter if you wreck it, if you make a joke about it. It's still bad. Listen, if I wanted to follow somebody, I would have went to play Assassin's Creed. Okay.
okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I keep seeing the ideal of Greed ask this question, but it keeps just yeah, blowing by. Uh, eventual Frontier gameplay. Do you think you might let Austin fight them? I don't know if... First of all, Frontier's an MMO. I don't think we're going to get to the end of Frontier. Second of all, if Austin's, like, warming up to world, I don't know how much he's going to like, like, cl classic Monster Hunter, especially, like, Frontier. I, I might show, like, fights. They're very different games. I might show, I might show <laughs> Austin, like, some more... We, we like doing context list. I might, like, eventually wrap around and show some of the Frontier fights just because they're fucking crazy. But um, I, we're not going to do a playthrough of Frontier before Austin does the tier list. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing that until 2026. <laughs> that is a full-on MMO. It, dude, I'm telling you, we should make these people, whether they want to or not, we should just do like a totally unrelated tier list. Like, like cereals. I would, do, yeah, dude, something. we could fucking do it, sure. 2026 is very optimistic. Well, you yeah. guys wait for me, get the tier list up, and we're going to make a Pop-Tart tier list. <laughs> uh, dude, that's a sh yeah, They me, only make, like, four Pop-Tarts anymore. A, me and Connor have a history of tier list, of our tier lists. We do. We, yeah, no, we, we, sh we should make some stupid ones and put them on uh, Volcanic Overflow. Just make some just dumb I'm ones. I'm telling you, we should do... Who cares if we even play Monster Hunter? We can do, like, Hangout Street. And yes. It's so fun. Uh, and just fucking watch a movie and make Pop Tart fucking defend the researchers. Check. Nothing's happening. Hello. <laughs> oh, I gotta talk to this guy. Bailey just said Tom's Pop Tart list isn't good. I gotta go find Tom's Pop Tart list. Oh, oh that's. Yeah, you don't even have to find it very. It's like the. In that Discord chat. Um, what am I, doing? I think it's the most recent one. One of the most recent no, ones. No, Seattle tossed something in there the other day. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, over here. Yeah, so it's the second you guys, one. You guys are all thinking way too low. Our next plan is to have Connor do a Smasher Pass for Monster Hunter. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I bet some people would like that. I'm though. sure they would. I <laughs> do the opposite okay, of do the, do the do the opposite of our tier list. No fan art. Do the tier list with nothing but fan art. <laughs> but nothing but. Uh, addendum about seeing Kul Taroth would be very interesting. <laughs> what that tongue do, Pookie? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, while we're, wa while we're waiting on Austin, let's, let's run, <laughs> we'll run through, uh, some stuff that our buddy Tom said is on the Pop-Tart tier list. Uh, so, S, the only S tier Pop-Tart is Blueberry. Which is like, come on. The, that's the only I mean, one in S tier is blueberry. That is the most like basic answer you could give. It's not. It's not even like the best basic the, answer. No, it's not. Uh, not even. See, and I'll I'll die on I will die on this hill. All right, as a big man, I will die on this hill. The only <laughs> pop tart that is S tier is cinnamon sugar, and if you think otherwise, <laughs> you are just blatantly wrong, like downright yeah. despicably wrong. I mean, like you couldn't be more wrong. I'm going to interrupt right, you for a second SOS because flare. we can join your quest now. <laughs> yeah, we're in. I know, I just, uh, so I just everyone else the flares. Yeah, I'm joining it right now. We still do have a second because I got to, <laughs> like, load in and shit. I we died in, like, one on cherry. Nice. cherry is disgusting. Someone in the chat never had Pop-Tarts. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no one, ain't no one left on cherry, I promise. Uh, you missed half the Cherry? question. Complete question yeah. was about seeing his what the s'mores, fuck reaction. S'mores is okay. I lied. There's two S tier pop tarts: <laughs> s'mores and cinnamon sugar. Right, There's so... 20 feet of shit between them, and and <laughs> cinnamon sugar is the best one. Uh... But s'mores, okay. You, you got me there. I'm still a hot fudge sundae fan, honestly. I'll I'll see if... There's three S tier pop tarts. <laughs> 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 no, s'mores is good, but cinnamon sugar is just blatantly good. It's not even funny. If we're talking I mean, like, like fruit flavored ones, I, I'm a huge slut for raspberry ones. But the regular berry good. ones are good. Like strawberry you know, and raspberry are good. Like I mean, I'm not wrong though. You know what's funny? Um, I I coach baseball, and um, you know, we, there's a lot of times where, you know, we play two games and we got to eat in between games. One of the kids is like, "Coach, you want a pop tart?" I was like. You fucking serious? <laughs> and so I took his pop tart, and it was an unfrocked 
Pop Tart. And needless to say, I committed horrible crimes and I beat the kid senseless. <laughs> I killed that kid. I, didn't, I like my job. I didn't touch that kid. I swear to God. I paid uh, someone to kill uh, that kid. Cut yeah, I phone. paid another kid to kick his ass. I paid another kid to cut his brake lines. <laughs> uh, cookies and cream, that's good. Brown sugar is my dad's favorite. Well, you got a good dad. I'll tell you that. Brown sugar is good. My dad's favorite too. Brown sugar is good. Brown sugar is very good. Oh, it's just a pig. Hi, pig. Chocolate I'll chip pop tart. That's pretty good. I don't know if I put it in S, but it is pretty good. Cookies and cream also. I like this guy. Pretty good. I like this. You guy. like the little pig man? The I moss like one. Pig. Moss one, yeah. He's nice. I remember. I remember him from the tier list. This is my first time using Glaive on this account because I've been trying to exclusively use Charge Blade. Man, it feels weird. It's been a while. Oh, so yeah, oh, so this is your newer account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, I miss it. I love Glaive. Now kill it. Yeah. Now, no one, no one has to say where, but is there anyone in the chat that does not live in the United States of America? I'm very curious. Uh, we had a dude before who said it was 2.30 in the I... morning where he was. I'm hoping he's asleep yeah. and not still in the chat. <laughs> I'm hoping... No, dude, stay, stay woke. Stay awake. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Give me ad revenue. <laughs> yeah, we got a dude from Brazil. That's hype. Brazil. 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 Yes. Yeah, nice. Uh, See, I don't care. I mean, this doesn't give. I'm sadly in America. Hey, man, like America, America is pretty cool in some places, depending on which state you, which state you, your parents rolled the dice on you being born in. <laughs> I love this state. I love it. Australia. Nice. Uh, if you were going, our, our state's what? fantastic, dude. So what is it? We're it, not going to tell them where there? it is, it's, it's, but just know that it's awesome. Our state, best state, anyway. I've said I've I've said New Hampshire three times now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean that's not. I mean, it's not like I gave him my address. I'll give him your address. <laughs> but if anyone wants to come to my house, <laughs> uh, are they talking about uh, fuck, Souls fuck? crossovers? Most of the dragons have... Souls has a lot of, like, knight... I'd feel like, um... A really cool, like, Souls crossover if they want to do... Uh, like, Black Dragon Calamite as, say, the boss... And then have, like, the Artorius armor be the armor. I'd take that. Listen, follow me. Okay, follow me. Right here. On the penguin. I just saw you. In the middle of the desert. Yeah, man, we vibing. <laughs> Born in Florida, uh, I, there, there's ooh Philippines, cool. I I think there's worse Denver. dice rolls in Florida. It's in here. It's in here. Oh, there he is. Are you throwing your fucking insect <laughs> at me? I was That's about to just leave it up to get up here, but yeah, it ended up happening that way. Also, uh, no, because I had to like, I, I, I uh, like use a new bug, I forgot how slow the Kinsex start off at. Holy shit. Dude. They're pretty slow, yeah. Yeah, goddamn. I like the, the bear off thing because it's funny that I'm shooting like, I shot like an arrow at it and it clanked right off of it, but I fucking sent him absolutely flying with a peach that I found on the ground. <laughs> where are you guys? This, this, this is where you broke. We're at the top of the map. Bring me up here for honey. Oh. Yeah, we're just vibing. Ah, nice. What a wonderful sight. Fuck these birds. Just yeah, shoot the owls. Materials. You can kill oh, them. Oh, they're owls? I like owls. Nah, owls are good. Uh, they're like the closest thing to owls you'll find in this game. In this game, yeah. This map's mad good. Where, this is a really good map. I'm, I was trying to see if we could see the Barrett's from up here, because it should be down there somewhere. But it might say, be in the mud. Can't be that, can't be that far. No, this thing likes to uh, 
bury itself in the mud. Yeah, because I was going to say, I, I know that it goes... Uh, let's go find it. We gotta find tracks. If you, uh, we... if you run off the ledge, you'll just hop right down. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, you know you can guy run by holding R1, be... right? Yeah, well, I mean... You go this way. Sprint, but I, I just use... <clears throat> I have picked up his trail. Oh. I see, is he still where you fought him first? I'm just gonna assume it's over here somewhere. Uh, it's a safe bet. You know, for a trained monster hunter, lugs around giant swords and bows and everything. That guy runs out of stamina real quick. I found him. I don't know. Leave me alone. Is the guy? It's the man himself. He's not the guy. I am. No, leave me alone. Excuse me, fellas. Oh, uh, that's not my bow. Get your brick ass forehead out of here, bro. Get in the mud. Oh, that is not at all. No, let me play songs! Me when the fucking cops tell me my music's too loud. <laughs> me when my friend <laughs> steals the ox. <laughs> me when. There it is. It's music time. Stop trying to hit me out of it, you piece of garbage. <laughs> I'm aiding you. Oh my god, the fucking roar. Shooting it in its nutsack. Ow. Ow. Get up and drink a potion. Uh oh. <laughs> Me when uh oh. Stop roaring. He's angry. <laughs> Bro, corner horning. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm making sure my boys get my songs. Fuck. Oh, I'm hey, stuck. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Get his, <laughs> get his ass! Get his Jump ass! Him. <laughs> get him, boys! Oh, you bitch. Rattle him, boys! Yeah! <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Shoulder bash. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, please. Just let me play. Yeah, I missed the glaive. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wish you could clutch claw just higher up on the, uh... Climbable vines. Yeah, they really should have, like, more wedge beetles in this game. Just in general. Uh, Laggy was in test footage, and then they couldn't get he him to work. himself down. What a fucking idiot. What a buffoon. Ooh. Hey, hey, don't look at me. Oh, I'm doing the least amount of damage here. Oh, I got the mount. Nice. Too bad. I forgot about the bird of evil. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I put a bunch of slinger thorns in its head. Hopefully it's a KO. Alright, he's, com he's coming down. Oh, I guess not. Oh, there, there he goes. I should really be at the tail. That's yeah, I'm trying to do that too. Probably oh, should be. That is that a KO? Yep. Nice. There's the tail. He might not have enough health left. Oh, got him. You don't got him. <laughs> he doesn't have enough health left. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> oh hey, there's a Diablo here. Why? Why is he here? <laughs> There's a Diablos here? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going down with you boys. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be up there. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, what? I saw that thing and I was like, fuck is that? <laughs> 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 anyway, boys, know Diablos right? Diablos could be here. I didn't know. I didn't think he was going to be here either. <laughs> I, didn't think it, I didn't think he spawned this early. <laughs> Neither did I. I, did, I didn't think it spawned in low rank. <laughs> He spawns in low rank. I didn't think he, it was going to be this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm in Rathalos of the last. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. welcome, welcome to the Thunderdome, motherfucker. Get his oh, ass. We can't. <laughs> we have 10 seconds. Let's get his ass. Jump him, boys. <laughs> the worst 10 seconds of life. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone said Diablos heard you put him low to your list. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I did. He didn't like it too much. We're gonna save this one. This one's pretty good. <laughs> it's just, Sam's stuck on the ground like a fucking vegetable in my land screen. <laughs> For me, yeah, I'm just gonna, I was just about to say, I can't really tell what the fuck pose I'm making right now. I can kind of just see that I'm diving downwards, and that's all I see. <laughs> Sand. See, this guy's an elf. I want to be an elf. Uh, here, let me check. I know there is uh, elf ears armor. I think it's layered armor. All right. So Austin is now Austin is now caught up to where I am in the story. <laughs> I said we made him get pop tarts. <laughs> I think we have to share with the class. Yeah, you've had enough for everybody. Mail, right? mail some to us. <laughs> uh, yes, there is in fact elf ears that you can get for your character. Good. Elf is superior. Elf is best race. What am I calling? Oh, hey, man. Hey, hold, hold, hold on. Best best race. I, you could also have a monkey riding on your shoulders instead of the elf ears. It's one or the other. It is tempting, monkey. <laughs> elf supremacy? Oh, well, now we've, uh, now we've radicalized chat. There we go. Goddamn right. Uh, Alright, let's take a peep. <laughs> like that one, the one uh, comment. Oh, I wonder, you can't just state you got puff tarts without sharing with the 62 of us here. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. I like that. So, uh, back to the waiting game. Maybe. I I'm actually caught up with Austin now, so I need to go watch the Chirito. Austin and I can do it together. Yeah. No, Yay. we can't. We have to do it in fucking separate quests, because this game was designed by <laughs> and fucking doofuses. Wilds better not fucking What's do that this. What's that line from JoJo's? <laughs> What's that line from JoJo's? I hate the Japanese. <laughs> I will never forgive the Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forgive the Japanese. Is that... All right, someone better. I'm not going to say what I want to say in the chat. They better say it. That was that was a JoJo's reference. Um, we guys play by story targets to skip around. I mean, eventually we're going to need to, like, make new shit and whatnot, so there'll probably just be, like, some casual hunting and whatnot. 
Uh, Story-wise, Austin and I are both at Jiratotis. Uh, I feel like Rise won't do this because Rise fixed this issue, but I yeah no I feel like the exact same thing. They fixed it. In, they fixed this stupid garbage in Rise, so they better it better stay fixed. Wilds, I cannot wait for Wilds. You have no idea. Yeah, man. Yeah, because this game this game isn't exactly new. No, this is six no. years old. It's been yeah yeah it's been out for a while. Uh, oh, that's so crazy. What songs does this horn give me? Stamina reduced, wind pressure, defense. La Bamba. Scout fly pap. Uh, while they're, while they're doing better. that, you know what? Because I know it's going to take <laughs> yeah, a little yeah, bit to get to there. Do I have a low rank Rathalos? I do. I need a part for low, from low rank Rathalos. I like the really Ore Tree songs better. The Kulu's got affinity on it, but I like my. I, 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 you want good songs with Hunting Horn. Does that let you play La Bamba? La 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 Bamba. <laughs> it's just get my. Just, the Hunting Horn gets my stream <laughs> copyright claimed. <laughs> if, <laughs> if Monster Hunter Wilds isn't crossplay, I will deep throw it in Nergigante. Damn, that's intense as fuck. Oh, all right. You're held. But to you that. know what? But you know what? But you know what? I respect it. I have it in writing. You're, you're that you have a legal obligation now. That is, yeah. That is, that is like a contract right now. I should have never wrote that down, <laughs> Buster. You're gonna... You have at least sixty witnesses here. <laughs> so, um, show up. we all show up to court one day. <laughs> <laughs> we have to provide witness testimony. The judge is like, that's it, brother, you're done. Bonk. <laughs> Go get him. Yeah, eat it. <laughs> uh, someone someone asked someone said my name. I've been aware of Frontier and say, uh, I mean, I have heard. Okay. Uh, not not really even from Connor, but I have heard from you. Because I do read all the time. Since I know, I know um, you guys are going to like get going with the Jirototus, but I want to do uh, a quick low rank of Rathalos. You're just going to need one right. part. Run and gun. All right. All right, loser. Yeah, I'm gonna do like real quick. All right, I'll run the Girotodus for myself just to fucking run it. Yeah, you guys don't need to rush. I'm just doing some because I want to just make a. I want to make the Rathalos cleave, so. I need to couple I of more see if I can get better arm. I'm just rolling out here. In leather Whoops. armor. What? Yeah, uh, yeah. Peep some stuff, Nathan. If you want to like give him some. Answer any yeah, questions. Nate, Nate can come with me on my mission. What am I doing? I was kind of stunlocked by that dude's message in chat that I'm not going to read out loud because I really don't want to think about it again. What, what, what am I doing? Um, uh, some guy keeps saying my name. Um, I mean, I have heard that like Monster Hunter Frontier is nuts just from like you guys like in reading. But uh, Connor hasn't really told me anything about Monster Hunter. Uh, other than the fact that I know mm -hmm. I know it's crazy, and I told them I wanted to do a tier list, but crazy. Um, I was crazy once. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really all I know about Frontiers. So, Frontier... Frontier was an MMO um, that ran from, like... 20... Yeah, I know it's not like a U.S. I know I'm pretty, like, you can't even play it. Like, it didn't get released in the U.S., right? You have to, like... You can't like, play it officially. Play it. You can play it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's def everything's playable. Yeah, it's defunct now. It <laughs> ran from I think it ran from 2007 to 2019, uh, and then fans were able to recover the servers. Um, but yeah, no, due to the fact that it was and it, like it started off pretty normal Monster Hunter game, but an MMO, and then you know because it ran for twelve years, it had to power creep a little bit, and then it had to power creep a little bit, and then it had to power creep a little bit for 12 years and it ended off in some goofy stuff like uh I'll let me I'll, I'll i'll put this in i'll put this into perspective a little bit of uh, just like how how nutty um frontier could get so in regular monster hunter there is a skill called guts the way guts works is that uh, once per life, you've got like a little uh, bar on your health bar, 
And if you're above that bar and you get hit to zero health points, it won't automatically kill you. Like it'll it'll it, it'll like stop you at one percent health, and it will do that once per life. The end game of Monster Hunter Frontier is balanced around an amplified version of guts that has no limitations per life. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Nathan, you coming with me? You gotta watch a cutscene. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking A, dude. <laughs> that I can, but... Um, I will... I'll tell him about that. Oh, you little bitch. <clears throat> Alright, so while we're waiting for these guys to watch some cutscenes again, I'll be watching the chat. Feel free to ask God. more questions. The chat is not in Happy good to hands. answer most of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh will take care of you. Uh, get him, Josh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, Sam, you weren't here for that. Someone way in the beginning... Uh, they must have mixed up Nate's name and called him Josh or something or whatever. And then yeah. at, like, the same time, someone, like, donated, like, five bucks. And so we were like, we were like, if they're paying, they can call you whatever the fuck they want. And so then we started saying, like, donate five bucks to change Nate's name. <laughs> I was reading the chat and I was seeing a bunch of people just starting to say Josh. And I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> yeah, that was, that, that was why. Uh, that, that makes sense. Is pineapple on Find pizza okay? Them. I don't give a shit what you eat. Put whatever Disgusting. you want Disgusting! <laughs> no, I'll do it. It's not okay. You're wrong. <laughs> it's fine. You can be wrong. There's nothing wrong with being wrong, but just know that you're wrong. It's okay if you admit that you're wrong. But, like, <laughs> you just have to at least admit it. That That's not right. Favorite JoJo stand. I don't know any JoJo stands. Oh, God. Um... Well, start planning. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I like Kekyoin. He's a good one. He's probably he probably has uh, Emerald. That's that's really good. Killer Queen was a really cool one. Killer Queen's oh, Killer Queen's that is the sneaky one because everyone talks about um, the world or you know, Stardust Crusaders. Yeah, and and the not Joe. Well, Joe Taro is is the best Joe. Uh, but Josuke is a sneaky good JoJo, and that is a really sneaky good uh, season. Yeah, no, part four is really good. I think, like, part four is really tight. Yeah, I mean, Dio is by far just undoubtedly the best JoJo, so it's really not even a conversation. No, yeah, well, he's iconic from, like, the design to the powers to the fuck, the, the Dude, voice, the, the, the voice is so good. The voice. Um, yeah, he's goaded, it's not even close, but if I had to pick one that, um, the wall that crushes Caesar, uh, could be a good one. Um, oh, oh. Honor, I totally forgot this quest is about rescuing a researcher. Yep. <laughs> and I, like, we've, we have done that story thing so many times playing the Monster Hunter board game, and I still didn't remember. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, I should just, like, back out now and we can do this as a group, or... Yeah, that should work. Yeah, you want to just join join me? Uh, get to the part. I'm, I'm... let's see. Got it. Do you think Stories 3 will have a boss, Elder Dragons, and the Risen Monsters as Monsty? Because Risen Kashala would be epic. I have no idea what they're planning for Stories 3. Yeah, I feel so I'm a little probably early gonna for play Stories it. 3. I thought Bitch, Stories sorry, 2 was pretty fun, but I mean, like, you it's just running around a map playing rock, paper, scissors, like... That's the that's only the most interesting game in the world. That's the I'm only reason I haven't picked it up. Game. I'm playing it because I'm having fun. Um, so yeah, I, I 
this is a stupid answer, but I could care less what Stories 3 is about. I'm probably still going to play it because yeah. I enjoyed Stories 2. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, only reason I didn't pick I haven't picked up Stories is cuz like the rock paper scissors looking combat did not look super appealing. Favorite movie? Man, I don't fucking Wait, know. I don't Shot watch a lot of movies. Um I yeah, I was going to say that. Nate's not really a great to, to, yeah, to there are better people shit. to ask that. Uh, preferred movie genre? Movies that uh, are trying really hard to be good but aren't. <laughs> That's my favorite movie genre. My f my favorite movie, I'll give you a real all time, is a Hugh Jackman movie called The Prisoners. It That's a good fantastic. movie. Oh, Prisoners? That yeah, is a great one movie. of the best movies. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, my God, the movie's fantastic. That's a great movie. We watched that just like on a whim when we were sleeping over someone's house once. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, here. I took, uh, way back in, like, freaking. I saw it, like, in theaters by, like, not even, not accident, but, like, I, I didn't really know anything. We just went to go see it. <laughs> I walked in, they just happened to be playing it, so I just figured, fuck <laughs> it, let's watch it. <laughs> this was nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will say, watching Prisoners, I was frustrated through that entire movie. I'm like, Wolverine wouldn't be beaten this easily. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I know, because, like, right? It's very Jack funny seeing Hugh Jackman and other things, because, like, if you watch The Greatest Showman, you're like, wow, Wolverine can sing really well. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, he's got a great voice. Yeah, he, he was in Les Mis. See, this, yeah, 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 yeah. this is That's the true. problem with not, this is the problem with not reading anything for this fuck. Give me a hint, Nathan. You're heading Where into the he swamp. At? That's all you need to know. No, God, I, I have to... Leave me alone! I ain't bothering nobody, you stupid-ass dinosaurs! Yeah, I've almost got um, this raffle. I there. just left... I, le I left the swamp, so now... The swamp. You're I heading out deep of... into the swamp. Uh, I think it's Area 10, if that's on your map. I don't remember if the mini-map actually shows the area numbers. Uh... Uh, eight, close enough. Rathian, fuck off. Get away from me! I should eventually oh, set up a Discord. I don't know. The only thing is, I hear, like, I hear, like, fucking nightmare stories about community Discords. That's really the only reason I haven't set one up yet. Uh, have, have I... you watched the Monster Hunter movie? No. Because it, I I, I probably want to I probably hate it as much as you do on principle. Any movie with that guy and his wife are just terrible. Yeah, most of them. <laughs> like none of those Resident Evil movies. No. It was funny. I had a I had a thought similar to this because they're doing. There is no uh, this guy, movie, so true. This guy so gets true. it. There is no Monster yeah. Hunter movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was gonna say. Yeah, there you go. I have seen. Uh, was it Legends of the Guild on Netflix? That was pretty good. Yeah, that was alright. It didn't look great, but it was fun. Yeah, that, that animation was a little. It was a little. Yeah. Oh fuck! I have traps with me. Um. But yeah, no, it's cool. Legends of the Guild is cool. <clears throat> I purchased it so I can have a movie I can have on. No, you purchased that movie to use as a coaster. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 20 minutes later. To this cutscene. You just get to the cutscene. No, like, enjoy it as soon as you're done the cutscene. Yeah, I'll be done. I'll be done with this shortly myself. So Sam, uh, Sam, so you missed you missed uh, you missed my fatal mistake. I I'm a you know you know me. I fucking I made the game Japanese because I was, and um, the only problem with Japanese, I don't understand what the they're saying. Oh so yeah. So if I don't read every and I, and I don't read, so if I fucking if I don't read every word that they're saying, I have no idea what the. So yeah, I yeah. have just been wandering aimlessly quest because i have no idea saying yeah because audibly you're not getting anything yeah e exactly so now i gotta find <laughs> where this swamp is i'm assuming it's that giant swamp looking area on the map would be a safe bet yeah, so you probably yeah, you're headed to the area 10 yeah 10 oh, 
I got this fucking this piece I wanted, time. Jesus. I don't have I don't have area ten on my uh, if you hit the touchpad, it should open up the full map. Yeah, have... I just don't think I, I just don't think I've. I've... It's it's like I've oh, I have no idea. It's to the right of nine. Yeah, it's the bottom right portion yeah, okay, of the map. It's, it's exactly it's the one way I have not gone yet. Someone find this lost dude in aisle nine. <laughs> Oh I shit, I almost went in with the fucking Nergigante charge blade. Whoops. I found, tw I found 12 before 10. Uh, where's the glaive? There's my glaive. Uh, if you look at the stream, Austin, I literally have the map up because I'm waiting for the thing. <laughs> no, I found it. I got it. I'm fine. This is a swamp. Man's probably walked his way into the Rotten Vale somehow. Pro yeah, probably. <laughs> Someone go help him. <laughs> you can't. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Isn't the isn't the Admiral played by like Ron Perlman in that movie? It is. It is yeah, it is Ron Perlman. What, what the oh, fuck man. was that? Jesus. <laughs> so someone know someone knows that Ron Perl he keeps cutting out. Yeah, it was my it was my <laughs> internet again. Someone knows <laughs> that Ron Perlman killed a guy. <laughs> I know, dude, it's happened twice. <laughs> Alright, chat, here's a question for you guys. What is your favorite armor set? Full armor set, not mix set, just straight. Name name the monster that you have the, the preferred armor set for. Aesthetics. Sorry, I should have I should have specified that aesthetics. Full master rank Odegaron, good pick. Basil geese also a good pick. Azure Age, it's a good one. Azure's yeah, good. Great Gears with like the Plague Doctor shit, that's kind of cool. Great Gears is a good one. Guys, McGorm's a nice wonky one. I do like that one. Yeah, that is a neat one. Alright, Nate. We're clear. Primordial Melzeno is a great one. Yeah, we can join. Okay. I'm a big fan of the Primordial Melzeno armor. I'm a big fan of you. You know it. I'm a big fan of you uh, too. Yeah. Kolvtroth. I really like the Kolvtroth stuff. Yeah, that's it's a the good big one. coat good with the goat horns. Male Latrion based. Great pick. Frostfang Barioth. That's also a great one. Silver Rathalos. I'm not a huge fan of the, the Master Rank Rathalos armor with the little wings, but I really do like the Silver Rathalos. I think it I works gonna, well with that I one. was going to I know say it's exactly Silver the Rathalos same amazing. armor. I know it's exactly the same armor in a different color, but it just, in my brain, it works with the Silver Rathalos more than it does the others. I love Silver Rathalos, just design-wise. Hey, 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 fish man, relax, buddy. I never did nothing to you. That's why I turn around. <clears throat> I never did nothing to you. Yo, Low rank cat, rate back Gears up. Really good, yeah. Blood Malice is a good pick. That's the yeah 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 yeah. That's like the rise yeah, sunbreak. G rank ivory laggy dude. You're my hero. I fucking love ivory laggy Chris armor. I want ivory laggy Chris back so bad. That'd be a good one to get back. I think I'd take Abyssal first. Yeah, I mean, considering how they had to change the. Uh, the way it worked um, with generations because there wasn't underwater in generations for regular laggy and it was basically just the ivory fight. Yep. I'd like to see an overhaul on ivory, but I do. I'm a huge fan of ivory. Molten. I'd love to have Molten Tigrex back. He's only been in the one game. He was really good. Yeah, Molten Tigrex is a good one.
The bird of evil has been hindered. I fucking missed those messages, damn. God, that's such a deep cut reference at this point. Yeah. Here you go, man. Yeah, give me this. I want that. Easy KOs, baby. Stop resisting! Nice. Fuck it. I got the back. Are morales to a t turn? Dude, same. Iron morales is awesome and criminally underused because he's underwater combat. <clears throat> Someone just stunned me out of my animation. Bro, where is orange on you? Your tail? It is his tail. Hmm. It's poor. It's usually how poor fish ain't even fighting back at this point. <laughs> yeah, this we, thing we is like just so easy to bully. For the... Yeah, I mean, holy crap, he's not even. This is one of the. This is, uh, I think, uh, probably the easiest, second easiest fight in the game. I would say. He's just boring. <clears throat> he's just a fish. Got it. <laughs> Just oh, going okay. to your Rizzler. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Give me that mount, baby. I just got a mount. You're not gonna get one. Oh, you did? I didn't know. Yeah, I got a mount and he yeah. toppled immediately. Oh, that's why I didn't think it was a fucking mount. Oh, I got another one. Cool. What the fuck? <laughs> Great sword is the best mounting weapon. You can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> hey, Austin, you want to know something cool? Sure. Uh, triangle and circle together at the same time. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, it is 11 o'clock. How long do people want to go? I'm rolling, man. I mean, I'm off. Yeah, go ahead. Act like we have something better to do. I, I'm just, I'm being polite, eh? Right? <laughs> Somebody asked this before, I think, in the I, chat, saying, uh, like, what's your favorite, uh, best your... monster theme music, in your opinion? Uh, I'm a huge fan. I think probably because he's also my favorite monster, but I could just live in a Safi Diva's theme all day long. I see, I only know monster under music because Connor... Yeah, yeah. Yep. I work till 12.30. I, I work till 12.30. <laughs> I just noticed that. Too. <laughs> please, please don't stop. <laughs> please don't stop the stream, cut. It's so boring. Oh, God. Yeah, he is a gentle, simple sailor. So true. Yep, you got the chat going with that now. Yeah, yeah. I love Safi. Ooh, it just looks like I get a special super de duper cutscene because I have like the special screen. Yay! I think technically it's not like its theme, 
but I'm a big proof of the hero fan because mm -hmm. of Jen Moran. <clears throat> proof of the hero hitting as soon as you hit that Dragonator as it's about to cross the ship is fantastic. Oh god, I don't think I've been looking up botanically. What version of Proof of a Hero? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Colton just said it. The best version of Proof of a Hero is GU. What's Dancing in the uh, Moonlight, based theme. What's up here, Jira? Is it, uh... Uh, everybody's the van, talking to... The Coral Highlands thing? People are talking to me about... It might be the first Zora. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. Oh, boy. I can't wait. I'm so excited. You can tell by the enthusiasm in my voice. <laughs> Oh, not yet. They're getting we're getting closer to uh Zora. I think we still got to do Toby and Angina first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That checks. I love Toby Kadachi. I have to go to my room for Tail Raiders in Astara. Actually, I got to go do that too. I think I do. Think you could break. Good then. Let's get this show on the road. We have an elder dragon to capture. <laughs> so much is going so far. It's going well, man. Thank you for asking. Someone just said Tobo Kadachi. Tobo. Hey <laughs> Tobo. Hey, it's, hey it's Tobo Kadachi. Hey <laughs> Toblerone oh. Kadachi. <laughs> to Toblerone. OG Zenogre theme also fantastic. Toby Kadachi's a pet in my terrarium. Dude, I respect that. I like that. <laughs> my fucking Tail Raider Sir Friday list right now is Misty's Analyzers, Biscuit's Analyzers, and R Ricky's Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is it. <laughs> this is Flight Commander Ricky. Do we, have, do we have clearance, Clarence? Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? <laughs> uh, botanical research stuff. Specialized tools. Yeah, all right. I'm getting the Toby Kadachi now. Gilly Mantle. Nice. Don't you, don't you mean a Tobo Kadachi? <laughs> That's going to stick with me forever now. Someone wants to talk to me. It's a first. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Who so does electric guitars best, Zenogre or Astalos? I gotta say Zenogre, man. I think Zenogre, too. Astalos has really cool guitars, but it's more blended in with the orchestra. I think, And then Zenogre really just kind of lets the guitar rip by itself. Is a Tony Kadachi. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good, Wonder. Like don't fuck with my boy, Tony. Tony will, Tony will fuck you up. Tony Kadachi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Viper Kadachi is Vinny Kadachi. <laughs> <laughs> I like Viper. I do too. He's cool. Yeah, I like him. As much of a pain in the ass as it is to fight him if you're not set up for him. Yeah. I, I just like I just like the color scheme on Viper. Yep. And just in general, just making him an actual, like, true snake, I just think it's really fucking cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's cool. <laughs> Don't mess with fat Tony Kadachi. 
<laughs> Just gonna like, Photoshop it. <laughs> Toby hey, the Viper, can... damn, hate to hear that. Viper could solo a Latrion. <laughs> Just forever stunlock him in paralysis. The mob boss is Don Reggiano. Alright, that guy does like Viper Toby. Some Correct species opinion. are underrated. Some are really good. Some subspecies are really good. Mm. And some of them really aren't and deserve the hate. <laughs> <clears throat> Is there any in this game you consider uh, should be hated or not? Uh... Antonio Cadacci's Pizzeria. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking good. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything really in this game. I'm not the biggest Shrieking Legiana fan, but I see the merits of it versus something like Emerald Congolala. Hey, man. Hey. Green monkey. Green. It do be a green monkey that's exactly the same as the pink monkey. It's not exactly the same. It has minorly <laughs> different statuses. And probably it's like green. two different <laughs> attacks. Aurora Somnicanth, uh, Aurora Somnicanth, I actually think is kind of cool. I don't. Height is so much less interesting. It, like, the way they changed it to ice just doesn't make the monster work nearly as well. But I like the armor, so that's, that's the check for It's me. gear looks nice. Aurora Somnicanth kind of sucks. They took out so many of the cool personality <sighs> gimmicks that Somna has. And then just fucking gave Aurora the most basic, generic ice attacks ever. Oh, that's that's Sunbreak, right? Yeah, that's Sunbreak. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard you guys talk about this. Yeah. Uh, I think Nightshade Paolumu isn't the most interesting subspecies either. But mm. He's alright. I think he's alright. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, I like him. exactly. He's, he's alright. He's, he's nothing like crazy. He, he doesn't really stand out to me. But he sure does exist. He sure does exist. Fulger got the volume? Dude, Fulger kicks ass. Fulger Fulger's deserves great. every bit of praise. Oh, fuck, yeah. Flaming, Flaming Espinas is really fucking good. The way they changed up his fight combos just to make him feel a little bit different is... Oh, dude, he's so good. Excuse me. It sucks, too, because Aurora being based off of Yuki Ono was a good build-off from the base. That is very true. I just would have preferred a new monster being based off of Yukiona. I would have because trying to reskin the Somnicanth just didn't really work. I would have Somnicanth works because it's sleeping. Yeah. And the fact that they made it ice just really made the fight not do anything. The other thing I've mentioned this before, but they took you know probably one of the single most <laughs> beautiful natural phenomena that occurs on the planet, you know, the Aurora Borealis, and they put it. On, like, a monster that does the most simple, basic-looking ice burst attacks you've ever seen in your entire life. At now, this time of year? <laughs> <laughs> At this time. In, in this... <laughs> what is it? Uh, Centralized entirely it? within... Centralized. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Yes. May I see, May it? I see it? Can I see it? No. No. <laughs> yes, and you call them steamed hams, even though they are obviously <laughs> grilled. <laughs> with it, you see the... With it. You, with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great meme. I don't oh, it's it. a great... Simpsons was such a good show. Like, I went back and I watched a lot of clips from, like, the first ten seasons... Simpsons is fucking funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's getting to the, it's getting to the point where it's like, don't you think it's time to call it quits? Uh, it, 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 it was Simpsons episodes could you do? It was time when we were five. <laughs> <laughs> like the Simpsons movie was funny as hell. Yeah. And that was like the last. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of funny things since then. But by the same Family Guy, isn't it time to wrap it up? Oh my like, god, you've had your time. 
See, Family Family Guy, Simpsons is just kind of embarrassing. Family Guy lives because Family Guy is made exclusively for short-form content on the internet now. Yeah, for real. It's essentially just TikTok, but in 50... Yes, it, it is. It's TikTok with a plot around it. Yeah. I'm still a big fan of American Dad, I gotta be honest. Yeah. I think I think New American Dad is still pretty good. They still care. Am I out of touch? No. It's the children who are wrong. It's the children who are wrong. <laughs> yeah, no. Sim Simpsons... Simpsons probably should have stopped with the movie. <laughs> spongebob spongebob was also really good like unironically was, really good I, I was gonna bring that up too actually some dude literally went to nickelodeon it was like hey man i got a show it's about a talking sponge and it's gonna be one of the funniest cartoons ever made and then someone said yes <laughs> then Halfway through it, they just said, let's ruin it and make it terrible. Yep. <laughs> Wasn't it was SpongeBob really good originally... Uh, it was originally supposed to be an Adult Swim short-form cartoon. I, I think, think was, so, yeah. yeah. I know that was true for Adventure Time, I thought. Where it was going to be like on Adult Swim or some shit like that. Yeah. It was Rage with SpongeBob. Yeah, no. I was raised on Spongebob jokes, at least. I didn't have uh, Nickelodeon for a little while. But Spon yeah, Spongebob's mad good. Oh, see, I, I Yo, this yeah, dude's yeah. talking about Kamen Rider. Kamen Rider kicks ass. <laughs> wow. Samurai Jack goaded, yes. Samurai J I had Samurai... I still have Samurai Jack on DVD. That's one of the greatest that cartoons anime, ever made. That anime yeah, that animation style is like... The 2D Star Wars fucking... Ugh, I have that on DVD, too. So fucking good. Yeah, that's... Yes, Batman the Animated... A lot of the Batman animated ones. Batman the Animated series, fantastic. Yeah. yeah that, that, whole, that whole cartoon run of, like, uh, Batman the Animated series, and then Superman the Animated series, and then, like, the two Justice League cartoons. Some of the best... Yeah. Su some of the best superhero stuff that has ever been made. A lot better than the stuff that's in the movie theaters right now, let me tell you that. True. Early 2000s cartoons went crazy, man. The early, car the early 2000s was good, man. I miss the early 2000s. <laughs> for Yo, a, chat, for a lot that? of reasons. Yo, chat, who remembers Spider Riders? I fucking remember Spider Riders. <laughs> I knew you would. I, I think that was on the same, like, <laughs> kids... I think that was both... I think that was on Kids Sam WB. and I remember Code Lyoko. Oh, yeah, dude. I remember that, <laughs> I remember that show, too. <laughs> <laughs> there was that, that, that was like a fever dream. Have you ever have you ever tried to like go back and like watch it, dude? That you feel like you're that show is nuts. <laughs> it, it's like almost borderline claymation. How it looks. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that shit's ugly. Ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it like a uh, a J. Rotsy trip that we were like me, you, and like I probably yeah, that's Zach, exactly that like, was my first. Yeah, there were, we were just going, thinking about yep. all the old shows that we used to watch. Yeah, uh, Osmosis oh, Jones. Poster and, Quest. Uh, yeah, that was the yeah, that was the one I was trying to remember. Osmosis Jones. That was the one that got the ball rolling. Uh, we're fucking talking here, Nate. You shut the fuck. Yeah, up. Yeah, Josh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Hold, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Hold on. <laughs> My life as a teenage robot, I remember that show. See the cool the cool thing about the <laughs> Your name's fucking Steve now, alright? <laughs> <laughs> For that four ninety nine. You didn't even write anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> yeah, you just donated Jim five dollars. <laughs> Yo, notice no one in yeah, chat was remembered the Spider was... Riders. No. <laughs> you are now Steve. Chowder? Chowder and Flapjack were great shows. Fla Flapjack was a little uh, more, like, fl wild, but Chowder is amazing. Flapjack was weird. Flapjack, Flapjack's awesome. another one. Flapjack was weird, but it had some good moments. They were, it did. They had to have been on LSD. I mean, oh, absolutely. They, they there were, was drugs that involved. Show was wild. <laughs> Chowder was, there a, was drugs involved. Chowder was amazing. Chowder is, Chowder is goaded. No money means no animation. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we gonna get the money to pay for it? Rada rada. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go watch. I'm gonna go watch my uh, snake squirrel thing. <laughs> Would you give a free one to a pretty lady? Sure. <laughs> Do you know one? <laughs> 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 There's another one I love. Like, Ch Chowder, do you have any idea what you've done? Also based. Now, now the animators have to draw all this fire. <laughs> and they're, ta they're talking about wiping like uh, smudges off the screen, and they're trying to wipe off the Cartoon <laughs> yeah. Network logo. It's like, no, nah, that that one doesn't come off. I tried. <laughs> so good. <laughs> in that same clip, but it's like, come a little closer, 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 and then it's like, like the the logo is just getting smaller and smaller, and then it like, just like <laughs> so far out that it's like taking up half the screen. It's like, no, you're too far out. <laughs> <laughs> you make the viewers cry. Oh God, Chatter is amazing. <laughs> It's like I don't or like, or it's like, the... it's like never, I don't. It's like never speak, never speak that word again. Never speak what? Never. And there's like a fucking cow with an utter there. Like never that word again. <laughs> Wait, how did a cow get in here? <laughs> like I don't like the look of that sun. And then you look over the horizon. It's a sun <laughs> holding a baseball bat. Darn, I almost had it. <laughs> Like, this neighborhood's looking really seedy, and he looks outside, it's just a bunch of birds. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, that show has is the reason why my fucking sense of humor is so stupid. <laughs> like, literally, every single joke we talked about, I'm like, I would make those jokes today. There's a lot of those, joke, like, right now. Shows like that, and then stuff like Oni Cartoons oh. molded a lot of our humor. <laughs> oh god, Oni Cartoons. Don't even. Don't even. Stop, don't stop, even. stop. We can't. No, we can't. Even. We're going to quote don't the even. entire Dragon Ball TV. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do, we're gonna do everything. That is one of the funniest videos to ever exist. <laughs> I used to know. Hang out with little boys in spandex ice. I used to know apples by heart. <laughs> If we started from the beginning, so I, could pro I could probably do it. We should sell your party. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Another class. Of the... Ah, hi, <laughs> Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 go, they go door to door singing in their complete complete garbage at the first four <laughs> houses they go visit and then all of a sudden they're just like opera singers they're just like fucking <laughs> so mean <laughs> oh it's so good he's gonna get ambushed by Tony Kadachi and the gang what's yeah, on he ain't ready for it open your map card ready. oh open your map card oh, let's see what's up Never mind again no, no, then I got him. He's telling you to open your map up so he knows where to go. Oh, ah, <laughs> uh, here. This map is a confusing one. Go up. Fucking fourteen. Where the fuck is fourteen? <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, I see it. Oh my god, I ran. Oh, like somebody, a somebody, somebody, somebody in the chat, somebody in the chat doesn't know what Oni cartoons is. It's also, uh, it's Oni is like O N E Y. E -Y. Yeah. A, it was like a bunch of, it wasn't like a, it wasn't, uh, like a cartoon that you'd see, like on TV. It was a YouTube, a YouTuber. Yep. 
YouTuber and uh, Newgrounds animator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, those are some classics. <clears throat> I blame Noah and Austin Corey on that. The cake was delicious. <laughs> C Carbon Electro. I'm stronger than an ant. If an ant was <laughs> this, this big. big. <laughs> you're just, you're just fucking with me. <laughs> oh, I just love the. We're really in for now. Go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I remember one time, it was, uh, funny enough, it was, a, and we were in my hot tub, Connor, Cody, and I, we Class just quoted the whole thing for like <laughs> 20 minutes, like. To go off on that for like one, two, for a second, classic Looney Tunes, uh, my, when my brother and I were real young, we used to spend every weekend at our aunt and uncle's, and we would pretty much spend at least an hour a night watching classic Looney Tunes with him, because he, he, like, watching it and so we would watch it with them and we would fucking it's the funniest shit ever. I fucking love classic movies. I know Big Chungus became a meme, but like I, I laughed at Big Chungus before he was Big Chungus. Oh look at you fucking hipster. Yeah I'm fucking hipster. <laughs> you guys can join up on me if you want by the way. Yeah, it'll probably take me two, <laughs> two, two, two business days to find this guy. Yeah, take me, take me two business days to find this guy. <laughs> See, it's like, just follow the flies. The flies will guide you there. No, the flies guide me to every fucking shit stain and footprint within a 20-yard radius. <laughs> <coughs> this map is, like, absurdly confusing. Which you does not help. You're fucking confused by it. At least in like the upper regions, like lower, I'm like, yeah, whatever. But like, as soon as you start going up the tree, I'm just like, all right, I could be anywhere at any point in time. All right, uh, am I abandoning Actually, and coming back, or are you guys gonna hop in on my thing? Uh, I'd say abandon and come back. This yeah, I was just saying, Austin going can't join on you until he's done his. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, dude, I got it. Actually, dude, I have to sharpen. I have to sharpen well, my hunting horn. That's how I get this notes to sound good. I need sharp notes. Yeah, it's flat. Yeah, my hunting horn's flat. Duh. That's depressing, I'm sorry. He's tuning it. Yeah, no, it's, it's out of tune. That's it. It's out of tune. I gotta get it back in tune. Burp. Bless you. <clears throat> How else am I going to play a B-sharp? Uh, yeah, no, he gets it. You could tune the string. If that would be... If they just changed the animation, that would be kind of... Oh, fuck. I, hang on. It'd be nice if they did different animations for sharpening the different weapons. Like, like, you like look focusing at the, on different parts of the weapon, you mean? You look at dual blades, you only sharpen one of them. That is true. <laughs> I mean, they probably wanted to, like, make it so that certain weapons didn't have to take a longer time to sharpen. Hot take, I love uh, the ancient... I don't know, I don't even know if, like, loving the ancient forest is a hot take. I really like it. It is, it's a bit of a maze. I love the map. I, I, love I the like map it a lot, game, so. yeah. Fucking, there, there I'm are... Fuck it, I'm fucking done. Where the fuck is this guy? There are still occasions where <laughs> I don't fucking. <laughs> I, yeah, I'll I pop. Lost. I'll pop out somewhere randomly. I'm like, this goes there. Yeah, yeah. yeah what the fuck? Hold on, Austin. Uh. I'm lost. Officially lost. Oh, man, also the problem with the way they set this game up. Up in here and show your screen so I can walk you through where to go. Did you just send him a party? Right? I did. Yeah. I did that with one of my coworkers when I was trying to show her because she wanted to play Destiny, and so I was like, literally, join me so I can 
tell you how to play the game because the game does not tell you how to play the game. <laughs> so I, she literally screen she screen shared with me, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna just show you how to navigate your menu. Spent like a good twenty minutes, and I was like, yeah, this, this is your gear, this is this, this is that, et cetera, et cetera. And by the end of it, she was like, "Thank God, I was sharing the screen with you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, two two thousand plus hours still getting lost in the in the forest. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. <laughs> a lizard, a lizard Uber. Luber. A lizard Luber. <laughs> my lizards, my lizards getting a little squeaky recently. <laughs> Got to oil them up. See what we're saying. Now to wait, yeah, for sure. Yeah, shut up, psycho lady. Uh, I forgot she was a crazy person until we got back in here. Not gonna lie. This, uh, yeah, just gonna leave it waiting here. Most of it, man. It's still, yeah, no, dude, it can still throw you off sometimes. Just randomly. <clears throat> Still cool though. There's also like a certain section of the of the ancient forest map I just never go to. I there's certain yeah uh, there's certain like pathways and tunnels that it? just like. It's like the I can't fucking think of. Uh, I need, I'm trying to find. Let's go back to the lower rank here. Yeah. yeah, like section nine, which is just off of base camp one. Like I almost like unless the monster goes over there, I never go over. Yeah. That's the one that's the strong, like, decline area. Like, I, I never go over there. It's so out of the way from everything else. Sometimes it'll be like what like you were saying, where it's like you stumble out there, you walk out here, and you're like, wait, this leads out here? What the fuck? Yep, yeah, I know. It, it fucking happens. Guiding lands is great. I hard agree. Oh, yeah, I know. The I like the guiding lands. Some of the mechanics ain't the best ever. The map is awesome. Mm hmm. Uh, which monster do I think is going to give us the first, fa like, full fail? Um, I think we're probably going to be good for a little while. M maybe Nurg? I don't know. Because Nate's going to have to, like, Nate and Sam are both going to have to, like, try to lose. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm wearing Master Rank Armor right now. Or, uh, well, I'm wearing High Rank Armor, single piece of Master Rank Armor. But I've got a I've got a low slash high rank glaive right now, so if he was like like when I when I even just redid this solo, uh going through low and high rank using only charge blade, the only thing that caused me to quest fail uh going into master rank was low rank Diablos is just cause it hit me like a fucking truck every single time it hit me. Yeah, no, he hits. He's good. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the. I think that was the only one that caused me to full wipe. All right, I think it was just because I underestimated him. <clears throat> Kashala or Nergi, probably. Kashala, I could see because Kashala is kind of a fucking pain in the ass. Finding this fucking tree was a pain. Asshole. Maybe even <laughs> Vol because <laughs> the effluvium beam. <laughs> Maybe. Or if you got decorations for effluvia resist, though, then you're probably fine. True. Like, as the effluvia in general, but the effluvia beam, he kind of, he moves pretty slow, so you can kind of, he telegraphs his attacks pretty well. What's the question we're answering? The first full, like, quest failure. Maybe you should pay the fuck attention, Steve. My brother in Christ, I wasn't even in the call. <laughs> 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 what I... Gentlemen... All right, is that... There we go. Now we can join. I was, 
Okay, okay. Do I have to fire an off, off an SOS no. flare, or can you just join? We're just no, no, I was no, going to no, say, because no. that's, that's a pain in the ass. I, like, absolutely get ripped apart every time. Oh, he left. We'll be in there okay. soon. Uh, Sorry, first quest I'm... we're going to fail, oh, so none of them, because I'm here. <laughs> this guy's fucking cool. Nathan, <laughs> Steve's going to slip on a banana and slip a disc. <laughs> I was trying solo Hallow Gen Moran. Good luck, my man. <laughs> Steve's gonna tear an ACL. He's I gonna be out for the you. season. We'll be pushing him around in the wheelchair. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda doing work to this guy. Hell to yeah, be fair, brother. he hasn't swung at me, but <laughs> <laughs> To be fair Okay! Okay, that's a <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> That's a bunch of fucking garbage. What happened? Oh, he doesn't swing at me at all. I'm kicking his ass. He, d he hits me once. Dead. Just dead. Oh, Just swings, swings his tail at me once That's and I die. That's why you don't fuck with Tony Kadachi. You don't fuck with you Tony Kadachi. You don't fuck with Tony Kadachi. <laughs> Alright, boys. With the dawn. It's time for Austin to craft things. Yeah, it's time for him to make some armor. It's time to mine and craft. I made armor. I have armor. Yo, I found the first Wyvarian. First. I made I made bold armor. Proud of you. Proud of you. Yo, I got kicked my fucking ass. Tony's bro. gonna kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's gonna pull out the Glock in a minute. Yo, me. Me and me, me and Tony got personal beef right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you motherfucker. Come here, bitch. Where you wear? I don't even. I don't even care where you guys are. Come here. Yeah, I see you were looking at me. A new variant comes out. It's just a Toby Kadachi with a Tommy gun. It's He's got shame. fingers just so he can do just so he can do the 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 Tony Kadachi. <laughs> it's just the emotes. Yeah. All right. That's Whoa. that's gonna need to go up on Nexus mod is Tony Kadachi. I just want to just poorly Photoshop the, that emote on top of his hands. Tony Kadachi and make you sleep with the wet fishes. <laughs> oh my god! Ah. Oh, uh, I'm see I'm seeing this pop up when when Basil sh when Basil or Devil Joe shows up uh, for Austin for the first time. Both I think will be very very fun moments. Basil, especially, in my opinion. Basil, I think, will appear first. Or at least that's what happened with me when I went to high rank. Yeah, I think once you hit high rank, they can just show up. Yeah. Oh, I just fucking got hit him right by him. Alright, songs for everybody. Starts blasting, never gonna give you up. <laughs> Thunderstruck starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize this bug was paralysis. I was going towards getting it to blast, but I guess I didn't level it up high enough. Whoops. That's alright, though. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it hasn't gotten down yet. Bitch, come back here. Alright, it just tipped itself over. I hate when that happens. Uh, health boost coming up. Oh. He's shaking. Ah, see, I, that's, that's what killed me last time. What was it? His strongest attack. Hey. Oh. Leave me alone! Oh. <laughs> Again, I mean, hey, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this quest. We don't know. Oh, fuck off. Tony Kadachi. He's just lucky. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Hey Ooh. man, this is where oh. we learn, baby. I got a sharpen. Don't worry, Austin. I'm fucking him up just for you. You let that motherfucker. You let me take the life out of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You come down here. 
<laughs> if we fail this, I'm running it back. I oh, like break it to prove a point. Nice hit. Right. That's fucking right. <laughs> now rip his corpse apart. <laughs> it's all about sending a message. <laughs> Tell your fucking friends. <laughs> Me setting the pile of Toby Kadachi corpses on fire. <laughs> it's not about money. <laughs> it's about sending a message. <laughs> Austin speaking like a true hunter. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's in, boys! He did it! He said it! <laughs> yeah. Wait, Bart, say the Tony line! Tony coming after his last cannoli and mama's rap. Alright, so here, here's the question. Here's the question. Are we gonna... Do we go... Do we hit Anjanath with, like, low-level stuff? Or do we actually, like, start to break and make a couple things? Because Anjanath is the first wall in the game. Uh, I'll leave that decision to Austin. Yeah, I was about what to say we, that's Austin's decision. What are we, a bunch of bitches? <laughs> I mean, yeah, right, kind of. Uh, I can there's take him with my guess. bare hands. Well, ac according to the fact that you I have just... Bare hands? According to the fact that I just lost about a third of my mm. paycheck, maybe someone in this group is a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> Yo, guys, the Eternal Gold Rush is up. We should do that. Just for fucking fun. I, uh, we might not be a high enough rank to do that. We probably are. are absolutely not a high enough rank to do that. I, uh, I had hope, alright? Fuck off. I am the awesomest. Ancient Tree, is this unlock in the farm? I think it is. Uh, items you use heavily. Yep, this is unlock in the farm. Neat. Is it, is it time to try something else? It's still... Oh, wait, shit. I talked to the Admiral because I was like, oh, the Admiral wants to say something to you. I'm like, oh, okay. And I go over to him and all of a sudden he just fucking teleports me away. So I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> he just puts his hand on your shoulder. Zoom. <laughs> Take a look at the weapons. So uh, is it time to try something else? Let's take our old pal Goldilocks is back. Oh, is this about Kolf Tarot? Yeah, it's about Kolf. There's a training area if you want to try out the weapons, Austin. Yeah, no, I tried I tried a few of them out, but my right. bow is, like, slightly upgraded. Um, obviously, the swords are not. <clears throat> you got to clear Xeno for Kolv. That makes sense. Yeah, nah, I'd Kolf win. Kolv is high rank. Uh, reminded that the commander is voiced by the guy... Or the, the siege the general is high rank. In Akira. Oh, that's kind of cool. Smells like bitch in here. <laughs> in <laughs> induct Austin into the Gunlance cult. Austin, Austin will pick things at his leisure. I, I, I'm gonna try the dual blades just because they were they like piqued my interest. Um, we're here to make him try nothing but the game itself. Yep. Literally. The boy will do what the boy will do. You know what? I, I'm a people pleaser. I'll go try the Gunlance. Speaking of Xeno, I was t I told this to Connor, Nate, but uh, on this character, I fought, I fought Xeno twice. The first fight, when like the required fight, I killed him and I carved a gem. Second time I fought him, uh, was just one of those random like optional quests that just randomly pops up. Fought him again to try and get a, a horn to make like a the ner like for the Nergagante charge blade, and I ended up carving two gems out of him and I didn't get the horn. Nice. Yeah. No practice. I'm just running in with the gun lance to this next fight. Dual blade, small baby hits, small baby numbers. Just a based, gun. Honestly, I just, I just have a gun on my back. Yeah, that's why I don't like dual blades. 
Because I know, I know, like, now, the blade doesn't hit, like, blade... super hard, but, like... I'll say this to the group of 45 people watching. My hot take, dual blades are some of the best weapons in the game, and I think they're the biggest beginner trap that you can pick up in the game. It's the most, like, trick you into thinking you're doing good when you're really not. Because you're under the illusion that you're hitting the monster a lot because it moves really fast and you're seeing a lot of numbers. When realistically, you could stand there for, like, 10 seconds and do the same damage that a greatsword can get in, like, one hit. I, I think they're phenomenal weapons if you take the time to actually learn how to use them and you can play really aggressively with them. That's why high-level mm -hmm. players tend to use them a lot, but I think they're such a trap for new players. I think, didn't Matt, doesn't Matt like using dual blades? Or at least in this game, didn't he like using them? I he tip uh, uh, He's big into dual blades, typically. He uses a lot of different stuff. Yeah. He's I big on hammer. He's playing. big on hammer, hammer yeah. Guy. Yeah, true, true. I thought I remembered him playing dual blades a decent amount when we played. Uh, Xenohorns are the rarest drop. Okay, that checks out. Alright. Dual blades is what I started with because they were fast. Yeah, exactly. Like, it. That's why I think it's a trap. Because <laughs> you, you, you think you're moving fast, you think you're doing a lot of damage, and every hit is like a point of damage, maybe two. It's just. You need to play really aggressively with dual blades for them to be well. And to play really <laughs> aggressively in this game, you need to know what you're doing. And that's why I think it's a beginner, beginner trap. Favorite dual blades are the Master Ale dual blades. Based, mine are the Fish dual blades. <laughs> <laughs> word, of, word of the night. Fucking beast. Hammer and Greatsword maybe the best since it teaches you how to move with the monster. Uh, I kind of agree. I think Greatsword is a really great weapon to pick up at the beginning of the game. Just because it's slow. And it... One of the big things with Monster Hunter that you need to pick up, and I'm sure everyone in this chat has realized this, even if it's gonna sound stupid, um, you every time you hit a button, you are locked into the animation of from hitting that button. Uh, and while Great Sword and Hammer are super slow, that helps you learn the game because you are just you're working with the timings, and they're weapons that are very much based around timings, and I think. That transfers well to learning other weapons, but learning any weapon is just learning how long each of the button animations is. Mm. Right, I didn't I know my, that there were fish gun. dual blades. Hell yeah, there's fish dual blades. Got my gun lance. Let's go to war. <laughs> there's a fish greatsword too. Swax pretty good. Yeah, Swax. I think Swax is a really good starting I, weapon. That is well. that oh, is I'm my argument for the uh, the best starting weapon is Swax. I, I think Swax or at least it's up there. The whenever, whenever I do decide to play through Rise and Sunbreak, Switch X is going to be my weapon. I will hot swap between Switch X and the Glaive. Great Sword feels good to land the True Charge Slash. It really does. Um, true Charge Slash is fan fantastic. I think it was a great addition. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of Crit Draw Great Swords. That's because I just think it's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, true true charge slash is great once you can start hitting it consistently. That's so much fun. Okay. Uh, how many spheres I got, and how many? I'm also a big fan of turning people onto longsword. Uh, not just because it's really good, but I think it's a weapon that's fairly easy to learn and has a really nice high skill ceiling. So it's just. As soon as you pick it up and you've played it for a little bit, it just keeps getting better the longer you use it. I think that feels really rewarding. So, Shoulder tackle is based? Hell yeah, it is. I think that's like one of the single greatest things they've added to it. Uh, that and the ability to omnidirectional roll. Yeah, well, that was just a universal... That, that changed everything for Greatsword. with swax and quickly jumped into charge blade charge blade's really good but it's one of the it's definitely one of the weapons that's harder to learn if you don't know the game very fun weapon one of my favorite ones to use it's just the that weapon has a significant learning curve compared to some of the other weapons 
SNS is a goaded new player weapon. I agree. It's pretty good. Uh, sword For new player, pretty good. Sword yeah. Pretty solid, well rounded weapon. Very Absolutely easy to experiment with, with combo shield. paths. Very solid. Um, I think it's a, one of the is there a fun less interesting in weapons. Anjanef, yeah. I gotta run it too. I'm gonna run Charge Blade for this Anjanef. Ah. Don't worry, I got the gun lance, you don't need anything else. Alright, right. I, I would I just won't even do it. Right. We'll just sit on the sidelines. Yeah, I got a might be take, hot take. I think Rise Sunbreak made Longsword too many counters. Rise Sunbreak made every weapon too many counters. That is true. Every <laughs> single weapon in that game has oh, at least one, here. probably more counters. It's the entire premise of playing the game. Uh, and yes, I think it's too much. I don't think every weapon needs it. That said, I'm a fan of all the, the counters on Longsword in that game because I think it's really fun. They're really fun when to you start getting really good at them. Yeah, they're really um, fun to use like in the moment individually. It's a little much for Monster Hunter. Yeah, I I'm not against it, but I don't want to see it again. Yeah, like I'm not upset that Rise is like that. I just don't want them to do it again. <laughs> it's exactly the same case for uh, Wyvern riding. I, that was I, like I Bo has think Wyvern riding is fun and novel, and I don't want to see it again. <laughs> well, that was kind of my whole premise of that Monster Hunter Rise uh, celebration and critique I did. Is like, man, this is a really fun game. This should not be the model of Monster Hunter. Like this should like Rise should just be its own thing, and like that's how that's how Monster Hunter does it. So it wasn't like I was worried, but that's still how I felt. Yeah. Water Strike Hammer is so funny. Is that the Wirebug skill where you jump super high in the air and come slamming down? Nah, it's Impact Crater. Uh, water Style oh, okay. is one of the is one of the three ways you can like set your ha like Hammer has like three different stances in Rise. And I forget all the differences between them. Oh, Water Strike is the parry. Why, uh, right, 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 right. Water Strike is the parry. Oh, I bet that's fun. Wow. Hammer with a parry, I bet that's so much fun. Don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, Connor. What? <laughs> Dude, I played I played Hammer like four times in Rise. <laughs> I don't think I ever used Hammer in Rise. I need to play I want to play it more. I really like Hammer just in general. I think Hammer's really cool, but it... In my head, it sits in this exact it's same like niche as Greatsword, and I just like Greatsword way more. I gotta talk to that fucking handler. Yeah. I probably should have been reading the dialogue. How the fuck do I use this thing? <laughs> uh, so... Uh, triangle oh, pokes, yeah, circle shoots, uh, R2 blocks. You can tap R2 and circle at the same time to do a quick reload. Um... All this information will be forgotten. <laughs> okay. Then why did then why did you ask? Hey, a pig. Hi, pig. Yeah, SNS is a really good starting weapon. I agree. Don't need shrooms. Uh, favorite weapon designs. That's a good question. Big. Uh, no, best weapon in game. Big katana. Big the cat. Uh, favorite favorite weapon designs do you want the like the actual answer or the goofy answer one of the one of the truest answers I think anyone could give is the Zenogre swords mm. Zenogre long swords are really good uh, so if you want the, the funny answer uh, definitely the one piece crossover Zoro long sword and four ultimate because it broke the physics engine of the game <laughs> <laughs> Because it just did not work, and they still put it in the game. <laughs> <clears throat> um, let me think. Aesthetically, I'm a big fan of the Nergagante weapons, especially the the fully upgraded <laughs> sword that has like the cage for a sheath. I think that's really cool. Almost all the Ono uh, weapons are phenomenal. Almost, yeah, that's true. Um, I really I, like I really... the. Go on. Uh, Nargakuga Sword and Shield because it looks like the shield is just made out of layered razor blades. I think that's pretty oh my sick. God, I found him on my own. I'm basically um... the best player in the game. <laughs> you. You're getting better, Austin. Yay. See, I yeah, found this guy. I found this guy really just good. walking around like three like, missions uh... ago. 
Alright, boys. I've been trying to. I'm gonna craft both of the both of these for playthrough I'm doing, but it's gonna be the any of the Rathalos, uh, insect glaive or charge blades because they're both so fucking cool. I'm also like, I love high the insect key. glaive gets little Rathalos wings, and then the tail is just fully. It's literally just a Rathalos tail. Uh, for long swords, I really like the Genmaron one that looks like um, like the pole arm with the knife at the end. Um, high key, and I hope people agree with me. I think the Ravager blade is sick. A lot Ravager of Ravager the... blade is the uh, the great sword that has the <clears throat> knife stick out of it when you take it out. There's Help a... me! There's a lot of. <laughs> I'm coming in, Austin. <laughs> Did you die already? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, why are you here? There's another day. <laughs> Evade, All Malzano I'm weapons trying. are goaded. Malzano weapons are pretty good. I just for the uh, first time today because I'm getting a lot of Sunbreak and Rise things nice recommended to me. Oh, where are you? I've been getting a lot of like Rise and Sunbreak things recommended to me recently just because I've been doing a, looking up and stuff. Yeah. And Malzeno and Primordial Malzeno. Dodge, you dumb fuck. fuck. They really are. Fucking A, dude. My, I fucking hate this. The gun lance sucks. Gun lance stupid. Gun lance bad. <laughs> uh, you, um, can, you, can swap, you can swap mid quest if you, do, if you really gun don't like it. Right? Yeah, stay, uh, stay at the camp. Stay at the camp. I'm coming to you. You can go into the tent and change your weapon. <laughs> gun yeah. lance bad. I don't want to be a part of this cult. Terrible. <laughs> Alright, I'm on my way back. I'm already in the quest with Austin. <clears throat> I'm hopping right now. Alright, I'll just need uh, about two minutes. Oh. Go back to my bow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that was still going to be there because I know that gets used up in the cutscene. So I didn't know I if it actually translated to actual gameplay. Yeah, he hucked that motherfucker at me. You know what? That's fair. I don't, I'm afraid to beat this, the shit of, out of this thing too much because I know I want Austin to actually like, play it. <laughs> I'm, I'm close. I'm like around the... <laughs> Toss a coin to your wristlet. Uh. <laughs> it's such a good line. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so it's funny so though. It's so stupid. Jesus Christ. Come back. I can't shoot that far. Shocks me that Gun Lance is so underused. It's a cool weapon. Same with Hunting. Yeah, um. I really like Gun Lance. Very unique idea. The two, oh, Jesus. the two lances especially are not super well played, and um, Capcom seems to keep forgetting how to balance gun lance properly. Like, um, I watch a lot of Ruricon's content, and he's always lamenting over the fact that the gun lance just ain't as strong as it should because Capcom keeps forgetting to, like, scale up the shelling level appropriately. <laughs> I remember when I first uh, started playing World, I wanted to try and use Gun Lance, because like, that's a fucking cool-sounding weapon. Mm -hmm. And then I used it, and I was like, this is not how I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> the Lances take a little bit of getting used to, because you don't have your roll, you have your hop, you're very dependent on guarding. Uh, if you don't have yeah, certain yeah. skills, you oh, can kind of get overwhelmed. Nah, you set me up, that was great. Did I? Okay. <laughs> I just fucking launched me into the air with the axe and charge blade. It's happened to me enough. I know how to capitalize on a good situation. <laughs> Fair. Any ideas for a 15th weapon in Wilds? 
Oh, Someone fucking just said Glock. gun. No, I don't think they're going to put a gun in the just game. Just a Glock. <laughs> this isn't the Monster Hunter movie. Hey. Hey, hey, fella. Hey. <laughs> I rolled. Go fuck yourself. Uh. Hey, offensive guard, baby. I'm sorry. I know you, you've you answered this before in a video, Connor. Uh, I know you really like the idea of a flail. Oh, yeah. If I had to pick one, I didn't even... I don't even really know what they do, but, like, that's just one of my favorite cool, impractical, like, actual happened weapons. Right in your taint, you motherfucker! Oh, he angie. I'm at sharpen. I'm at yellow sharpness. Just keep showing me his ball sack. I don't like it. <laughs> it means he likes you. I don't. I don't like him. I don't like him. Hey, his uh, face is right here. Hello, buddy. I don't, I don't I feel like I don't have any creative ideas for new weapons. Um, I mean, I definitely. I don't want to see something like one of the frontier weapons. Even if it's scaled down. Um, yeah, I feel like that'd be kind of much. I don't... I'll, I'll I hate to say it, I really don't think we'll see something like medium bow guns again, as much as I really did enjoy medium bow guns. That'd be hilarious. Um, the system they have now that works really thing. well for bow guns. Yeah, medium bow guns, and bow guns were <laughs> oh, three shit. different I dodged. pieces. I dodged. I dodged. Uh, you had to craft the barrel, the body and the um, stock all separately from each other. But you could mix and match different Jeez. monsters to be able to shoot different weapon types. Interesting. It would determine if you had... Uh, another stream you pickup. Know what, you know what it could be interesting? Um, you know like the uh, Japanese like giant like studded club thing? That'd be kind of cool. Big, just a big chunky club. There are some weapons that are that look like that, but are actually just the other weapons. Like there's some long yeah, swords I that look like that. Figured as much that that would just be like skin. Hey, relax. I got him with a paratoad. On his tail. You go get him. Oh, that'd been really cool if it hit. Oh, yeah, bitch. Nice Ooh, knockdown. Oh, get fucked. Give me this tail. Hey, there's the tail. Right now I can kill it. Yeah. He's <laughs> 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 I don't think we'll see Excel Axe or Tonfas. No. Perfectly fine with not seeing them, honestly. Those were built for Frontier. They can stay there. I don't know how. I don't know I how you make Magnet Spike not broken. That it was designed to be broken because the monsters were broken. Quick to the wedge beetle! Oh no! Frog, why did you betray me? Alright, now I can stop playing Gunlance as a joke. Witch Beetle. I mean, not that That's I would... That's funny. I, I was like, gun bad, don't want it, bad. <laughs> I didn't even get to fire a shot. I kicked my ass so fast. And I was so confused trying to get the trying to just get the weapon to work that I didn't even get anything off. <laughs> That's all I needed. <laughs> You're like, wow, this sucks. Oh, I think I poisoned him. I'm just shooting, man. Am I, I out of touch? Uh, I just go out there with my bow and I start ripping. <clears throat> Am I out of touch? No. It's yeah, the weapon that is bad. Um, to give my actual answer for the question, I I don't know what the 15th weapon will be. I don't know if they'll do a 15th weapon. Uh, if they do one, I think I'd like to see something along the lines of one of uh, 
like a charge blade or a switch axe, something that they're like tying in the lore of the ancient civilization technology to make something cool and new. That's what I'd prefer, but I'd have no idea how to me, do it. Just like give me drop near spears and call it back. <laughs> drop near. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get throwing one. spears. That'd be sick. I love like the technical weapons in this game. Like my favorite weapons are charge blade, switch axe, and insect leaf. Anything that's like that, I'll fucking eat it up. Like, Those are actually, I think those are my top three. And I do like bow. Bow and longsword are close contenders right, is... for uh, my, some of my favorites. Is this the point where we make you guys some new armor? Uh, we have Zora Those next. Set equal dragon weapon. Actually, is, do we really need new armor for Zora, though? Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Mr. Forgetting what the, yeah, shows up the on fucking... the Zora quest. <laughs> I mean, you literally. Does he show like up on the first one? Fucks off. Uh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he shows up on all hit, of them. You hit him like six times, and then he fucks off. Though I think you have to do like two hundred damage, and I think he solo. I think it's like two hundred damage, and he loses. didn't didn't realize we were fucking. Scared. It might not even be two hundred. I don't even remember. I thought I heard somebody say that. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the glaive for this one. I haven't grasped an so I just ounce to get, of the uh, story. Uh, Honestly, there isn't much of one. Yeah, in a game like this, there really shouldn't. See, so, you know what's funny? There's, there's the this game, game, like, the game like... called Remnant, and it is so funny because they call it like Dark Souls with guns, but it's not nearly as hard. It's if a bunch of guys with guns got sent to Dark Souls, but it was not nearly as hard because they have guns. So they just shoot everything. But like they try to make it a story, and I remember I was cooked up. I mean, I was so hot. <laughs> And only one of you has to make the story go. The other guy can do whatever the hell he wants. So I was like, I'll go make the story go. Keep in mind, two missions ago we were fighting elves in a castle. The last mission we were fighting British people with muskets. And now I'm talking to like an alien tribunal. <laughs> and I was cooked. And they're talking to me and I'm like spamming X. And it still took me 45 minutes to get to what the aliens were saying. So, like, the story sucks, but, like, they really try to make it, like, they they push it, they try so hard, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> make me something, Smith Man. <clears throat> I don't like the way you say that, Smith Man. <clears throat> I like how your feet smell. God, those are some cute toes. <laughs> Show me your grippers. For your next set of armor, he just doesn't give you shoes. <laughs> all, right, so, all, right, all right, so Nate, what am I making? You said we're making armor? <laughs> Whoopsie doodle, I forgot the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I said we should probably make you armor. <laughs> All right, so, so what are we making, Nate? Uh, speak to me. Uh, hold on. I'm going to take a look. Let me see what you have access to. Also, now that there isn't a story for this game, because obviously like, there is a, 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 a sort of a story, but it's just like, it's mostly that this game has a lot of good lore, I think, yeah. more than like a story. This game has a plot. It's an okay plot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd I say have, I have the full arm. I have the full bone set. I, I don't know if that's good enough. I haven't upgraded it like at all. So I'm gonna assume you have access up through Anjanath. Sure. Well, that's what we just hunted. So. I I know I I knew that, but. <laughs> all right, let me let me upgrade. Let's. Uh, all right, what the fuck is armor sphere? What the hell does that even mean? Uh, armor spheres are items that you use to increase the defensive value of the armor. All right. So, so the different I... pieces of armor give different skill points, and then you can upgrade the individual pieces to have more defense. So I, I'll do that. I'll upgrade. I'll, all right. You know, I'll, I'll. You tell me what to do first, or I can just upgrade. Upgrade what I have. Me like bone armor. Me like bone. <clears throat> Let me 
me see. What's going to be a good option for bow? No defender for Austin. Defender armor is cringe. It's cheating. Yeah. I... True. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Catch, wouldn't be caught dead in defender armor. Yeah, yeah, no. Austin, Austin, yeah, Austin knows. Austin knows. He knew before we started. Come on. Uh, yeah. What, what do you? What, what do you take? What do you take him for? What? Yeah, the, what do you take him for? Do you, who do you think I am? Wanderer. Where, where, where do? You, where do you get off? Hmm? You're lucky. You're. You're lucky. You're lucky that you. Yeah, you're lucky. We don't know your address. Otherwise, we'd come yeah, there. We'd come over there. You said something funny earlier. You're like, I'll, I'll yeah, you're on like you're one. on like strike two, buddy boy. Strike three. Um, I don't know. We're leaking your address. See, no, nah, semantic gets it right. It see, I don't care what you say. It's if he says it's ugly, I trust semantic. It's ugly, um, and I would rather wear worse armor that makes me uh, that tickles my brain um, than better armor that does better. I would oh, always pick aesthetics over actual playability. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're in luck with this game, then. Yeah, because, like, bone armor look cool. Is it the best armor I have? No. For some reason, I have some new game plus armor that I started the game with. And uh, that armor is vastly superior to pretty much everything I have. Am I putting it on? No, because it's ugly. <laughs> All right, Austin, we should probably do this means that Austin, death armor for you. Austin's going to like the end game armor. I have, Austin. I have Austin's, oh, yeah. Austin's gonna like. You're definitely not gonna have enough. We'll have to hunt some more. Yeah, because yeah. I don't like big. I don't like big bulky armor. I like like slim, slick armor. I immediately think that. Uh, this isn't super bulky, but a full set looks like an actual set of armor. <sighs> what am I? What am I making? Which... Anja. You are in luck, Austin. There's a mechanic towards the end of the game where you can uh, literally just. Buy like basically buy skins. You just basic you buy armor pieces and you can slap it on whatever. Like you can wear. Oh, see, Blair, they, that Blair was like Blair. the best thing they did in God. Of, that's like the best thing they did in God of War. It was like mm. pick the armor oh, you yeah. want statistically, and then you can make it look however you want. Yes, well, you can do that in this game. Yeah. Makes me Except they God of War did it, did it for each individual decisions. piece and didn't just let you have like it blanket on regardless of what you were wearing. So uh, every time Nathan, you swapped out for something a little bit better, you needed got to put bad, it back on. Got bad news for you, Nathan. You're not going to be able to make the whole set. We're going to need to hunt some I don't have that. enough to make a single piece of it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, so, what, so what you should what do... What do you want me to do? Rob the guy? No, yeah. no, no. So highlight the Angus so that you're you're covering everything. Okay. Uh, and hit square. And that should show what the armor is going to look like on you. That's cool. And now, if you hit triangle, it should add all of those pieces to your wish list. I think I have to do it. Individually. You want to do them individually. Uh, but that'll track all of the see, parts that you're gonna need. See, this is this is this is my thing, right? I will not wear a helmet. I don't know why in games I hate wearing helmets. I always, always, always take off a helmet. Oh, you're in luck again. There, there's an yeah, there's a setting to turn the helmets off, but still. Oh have God armor. bless! That was the that was the best thing about Baldur's Gate, because some of those Baldur's Gate things, it's like, yeah, you can have plus two charisma if you wear this clown hat, and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's a setting you can turn uh, off your helmet. All right, so I don't have it. So I got it all on the wish list. Okay. Me, me have. Uh, and then, yeah, I was going to take a look at weapons, because I'm pretty sure there's an Anjanath bow we can make you, too. So if we're going to be hunting everything, or if we're going to be hunting it, we might as well know, make you everything. He does have a bow, yes. Uh, yeah, he does right here. I don't think he has uh, a hunter. Does Anjanath have a unique bow, or no? It looks remember. like it upgrades off of the Puke, which is off of the bone. So you need to make the bone bow and then upgrade it into the Anjanath one. What does this horn give Oh, and the Anjanath shoots uh, blast coatings. That's it fantastic. Just says, all it says is under, deve all it says is under development. Uh, Kooky oh, weapons you might not have it unlocked yet. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. All right, well, Bonboro we can make whatever weapon works. Great. I love uh, Bonboro. I did, I did upgrade Bonboro my bow to something. My, my bow is... I did upgrade my bow. It does 156 attack damage. Oh, I'm using the defender bow. 
Uh, should, should I kill myself? Is that the rule? You should kill yourself, yeah. Okay. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just saw I just saw the big yeah, you, know, you know what? Alright, hey guys, it was nice talking to you. Great scream. Um so okay. Is that why I can't should I like un <clears throat> Can I sell it back? Take my bow back. <laughs> Uh, I mean, personally, I don't give a shit if you're using the Defender one. I, but... I, have, an, I have enough to make up a lot of the bone bows, I just can't actually make it. The, can you make the first bone bow? That's, uh, no, that's the one I can't make, I can't, it... Oh, you have to go oh, to you don't have to bone are you small? in the or are you... Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> So, awesome. uh, so on curiosity. the when initial you, uh, menu with the smithy, there's forge weapon and there's upgrade w equipment. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to forge equipment and then go into bow, it should let uh, you craft uh, that bone bow. Let me understand. Yeah. Uh, I have defender bow, iron bow, hunter's bow. Oh, it's hunter's bow. Okay. Yep. So you're going to make the hunter's bow and then you're going to go out and go to oh. the upgrade tree. Uh, and you can click on your bow, and you're looking to upgrade it into the Hunter's Bow 2, and then into the, uh, Blooming something or other, whatever the Puke Puke one is. <clears throat> blooming Arch. Okay, I feel blooming better Arch. now that I'm not, uh, I feel better now that I'm not dishonoring my family using defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody, call, everybody, uh, text Austin's family and tell them that they can like reassociate with him again. I cannot upgrade to Hunter Bow Two. Why not? I have. Uh, you need. Needs. It just says under development again. So you can't make Hunter Bow Two. Interesting. I have all the required materials and the money. All right. Uh. What's it telling you? It's under development. Yeah, there's just a big yellow banner that says under development. Hmm. That just means uh, we'll unlock more as we play a little bit more of the game. I feel like you should be able to do that, though. Yeah. If that's the case, uh, stick with the Orbo, because it has the power coding you can use. We should probably explain bow codings to him. I mean, I, I get it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, it's uh, an item you can carry that you can equip to your bow. Is it by hitting triangle? Um, yeah, I think so. so when you're holding the bow out, if you hit up and down on the D-pad, it'll cycle to the different coatings you can use. Uh, I believe you hit triangle to put it on, and then the power coating is just like a base attack increase for all yeah. of your shots. But you only get like uh, 50 coatings at a time, I think. So do you Fine. both have a cutscene to watch for Zora? Yeah, I think so. I gotta talk to the handler right that now. That sucks. Talking to handler. I guess, do you want to call it here for the night and we can pick up the armor nice. grind and Zora next time? I'd be fine with that, honestly. Stop. Yeah, we are actually at a pretty that, good stopping spot. <clears throat> that guy who said he's on shift until 1230 should almost be done, so I don't think he'll complain <laughs> this time. Yeah, you only got eight minutes left, brother. You're fine. <laughs> you can do it. All right. Um, <laughs> so. All right, I'm back. Do we want to boot this back up tomorrow? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah I'll be around. It'll probably be much earlier, though, because I'm literally doing nothing. 
That's fine. Oh, yeah, I can... Yeah, no, we can I make can it an afternoon thing. Uh... All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, thank you for any and all Super Chats, if the person who donated is still around. Um, yeah, thank... Austin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, no, thanks Thanks for everyone for joining us. Uh, thanks for having fun. Uh, this was a lot of fun start. Uh, yeah, so we got Zora coming up next. We should be doing, like, some, like, proper, like, quests. Hopefully we get out of, like, the story grinding. But, uh, yeah, no, this was a really good second stream. Uh, and yeah. we will talk to you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll let, I'll do a community post and a tweet when we want when we decide to go live. But, uh, we should be going tomorrow afternoon. That's kind of, that's currently looking like the plan. Tomorrow afternoon, Eastern time. Yep. So I will, I will make all announcements, uh, when we know exactly what we're going to do. So stay tuned. We will probably be back tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for everyone who who hung out here for the stream. This was fun. This was, was a nice lot chatting of fun. with you guys. Yeah, Bye, great, great conversation. We you know, for a whole four hours too. That was great. But yeah, we had to keep it up an extra hour for that dude. <laughs> hey, Penis. yeah, dude, I had I had Penis. to keep I had to keep it up Penis. all four hours. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. It is, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We're gonna be rolling out. Have yourselves a lovely evening. We will probably talk to you tomorrow. Don't you mean today? Yeah, <laughs> just shut the fuck up, Sam. <laughs>